Hi guys, support me in Kofi. So I can upload more audiobooks regularly. Sage Monarch. Chapter 1576 Mass Producing God Legion Seals. Even if Reg God Ultimate were stronger than he was, now that he was inside the everlasting Aegis, there was no escape for him. That said, as soon as he unleashed Reg God Ultimate's obsidian flame, which pulsed with a seemingly all destructive power. In fact, if it kept spreading, it would likely kill everyone it touched, like some sort of plague. Not that Yang Chi would let that happen. Yet again, King Heaven Devourer's form appeared behind him. The enormous snake inhaled, and the countless streams of black fire entered its mouth. As of now, the snake was incredibly powerful. In fact, it was capable of unleashing about 80% of King Heaven Devourer's full might. After the black flame entered the snake, it shrank down as it started assimilating it internally. Yang Chi wasn't spending a lot of time analyzing the situation. He thrust his hand out again, and a projection of the Great Necropolis appeared, which slammed down onto Reg God Ultimate's head. It was the Great Necropolis God Art. As far as Yang Chi was concerned, it didn't matter that Proud Heaven had unlocked so many of the secrets of the Necropolis. Yang Qi connection still hadn't been severed. And for some mysterious, unknown reasons, King Immortal Slayer had access to certain bits of knowledge that he'd hidden from Proud Heaven, making them impossible to discover. The Great Necropolis still had more mysteries to be revealed. Proud Heaven thought that because he could use the Necropolis to deal with the High Priestess, he already understood everything about it. Sadly, he was completely wrong. Yang Chi knew what the Great Necropolis was ultimately capable of. And his knowledge had only increased after Proud Heaven mistakenly came to believe that he had assimilated King Immortal Slayer. Because both Yang Chi and King Immortal Slayer were deeply connected to the Great Necropolis, it was possible for Yang Chi to sense how King Immortal Slayer had survived. There was no way King Immortal Slayer was going to be assimilated by Proud Heaven that easily. Yang Chi was using the final move from the Sage Monarch Grand Magic. Annul death, eternally bury. He wasn't giving the Wretch God any chances to destroy his empire. Rumble. The Great Necropolis crushed down inexorably until the Wretch God was completely suppressed. Not even the incredibly powerful brainwaves he fought back with did any good. Prayers and Destiny of the Empire As soon as Yang Chi gave the command, the destiny of his empire flowed into the Great Necropolis, where it battered the Wretch God. The Wretch God was finally starting to shrink back. I have undying immortality. Wretch God Ultimate shrieked. Nobody can defeat me. I'm going to destroy everything. Ultimate's Deo of Gods, melt heaven and earth into wretchedness, let the wretch world appear. Rumble. The wretch God's head vanished, to be replaced by a wretched world that was rapidly expanding outward. Yang Chi had created the everlasting Aegis, which was independent from the God world. And now the wretch god wanted to do the same thing. He'd created his wretch world long ago, but it had vanished, and now he was hoping to use a world to defeat a world, break free from the great necropolis, and make his escape. The wretch god was proving difficult to deal with. But, he was dealing with Yang Chi. And Yang Chi wasn't going to let him succeed in his plan. In response, Yang Chi vanished, to be replaced by an image of the halls of heaven which shot into the Great Necropolis and slammed into the Wretch God's world. The Wretch world then deflated like a popped balloon, provoking a shrill scream from the Wretch God. You assimilated the Halls of Heaven. That's right, Wretch God Ultimate. Your fate is sealed. Give me your head, and open up your psyche to me. Be cleansed by the sage light of the Halls of Heaven. Your destiny is going to push me to new heights. With that, Yang Chi focused even more of his destiny on assaulting Reg God Ultimate. It became so forceful that Reg God Ultimate couldn't even move. I might not have been a match for you in the past, Reg God Ultimate. But with the power of my empire to back me, you won't even be able to self-destruct. My empire is one of a kind, and everyone within it is a sage or Mahatma. You want to break down order, 
which makes you fundamentally incompatible with my empire. My empire's destiny is the bane of your existence, and now, you will be assimilated. Streams of wretch energy and psychic fluctuations flowed into the halls of heaven, causing blackness to spread into the white. Eventually, the ship-like form of the halls of heaven was half black and half white, almost like a Taiji symbol. The wretch god's power was weakening, and he could only roar out a curse of defiance as he realized he wasn't a match for Yang Qi. Not even his greatest art, Ultimate's Curse, could do anything to Yang Qi's soul. Yang Qi was a fateless one. Nothing could touch his fate, not even the wretch god's curse. Be crushed. Yang Qi howled. Wretch energy flowed like mad, causing the halls of heaven to turn even darker. Slowly but surely, the wretch god's skull was removed, revealing his brain, wriggling and twitching with a psyche and will that could destroy the heavens and extinguish the earth. The wretch god had started out in ancient primal chaos as nothing but a brain. That brain had slowly absorbed endless amounts of pre-heaven wretch energy, ultimately transforming into the invincible entity he had become. Now Yang Qi was taking that wretch energy away, leaving behind only the original brain. The time had come. Yang Qi transformed into a stream of sage light that shot into the wretched brain and started chewing away at it. It was a battle of pure psyche and thinking. As for the wretch energy that was flowing into the halls of heaven, bright sage light erupted and started melting it away. Of course, it was wretch god ultimate's incredibly powerful wretch energy, so it wasn't a process that went quickly. The halls of heaven erupted with countless shockwaves as radiance and light fought darkness and gloom, in a battle of righteousness versus evil. Sadly for wretch god ultimate, he also had to contend with Yang Qi destiny. This battle between the extremes was pushing the halls of heaven into a very unique state. Yang Qi had been constantly working at assimilating the halls of heaven, and had been trying to find an opportunity to finish the job. Now, he was killing two birds with one stone by borrowing the power of Wretch God Ultimate's energy to assault the halls and make them easier to assimilate. All of a sudden, the halls of heaven became a complete mix of black and white. It was now a different type of magical treasure, and the Sovereign Lord's aura was gone from the spell formations inside. It now conformed perfectly to the destiny of Yang Qi Empire. I finally assimilated the halls of heaven. It's now my treasure. Many thanks to you, Wretch God Ultimate. Without you, it would have been impossible to remold the halls. Henceforth, the halls of heaven will be a never-setting sun above my empire. A tremor passed through Yang Qi as he sent the halls of heaven flying up into the grey space that was the everlasting Aegis. It was now a sun, although it looked different from ordinary suns. Half of it burned with radiance and light, while the other half radiated darkness and gloom. As it rotated, it would sometimes cast brilliant light onto the empire, and other times it would wreath the everlasting aegis in night. Peace. Security. Rest. When night fell on the sage monarch empire, people could sleep soundly. After all, this darkness didn't contain any sort of evil, but was instead meant for recuperation and recovery. In the past, the everlasting aegis had only contained radiance and light without any darkness at all. Of course, its inhabitants were all gods, so they didn't care. But now that there was nighttime, they realized it was the perfect opportunity to rest at ease. During the night, the entire empire would become calm and quiet. Strangely, during those periods of nighttime rest, the destiny of the empire didn't decrease. Quite the opposite. It increased, instead. That was one of the benefits of rest and recovery. As the halls of heaven became part of the everlasting Aegis, the empire suddenly grew, reaching an unimaginable state. At this point, neither the high priestess nor proud heaven could possibly invade in force. The sage monarch empire was now a true fortress that didn't need to fear anything else in existence. Yang Qi looked up at the sun that was the halls of heaven, and while it was black and white, it still bore the general shape of a ship, with two pointy ends. The halls of heaven are now gone, he thought. Looks somewhat like an eye. I think I'll call it the everlasting eye. 
it can bring peace and rest to all of the gods, which is something the halls of heaven could never do. He was still fighting his battle with the wretch god's brain. However, now that his work with the everlasting eye was complete, his empire became even more pious, and as a result, his psyche and will started climbing again. In that moment, he vanquished all of the wretch god's defenses. No. I can't believe you used my wretched power to assimilate the halls of heaven. Damn you forever! You've profaned the glory of the Sovereign Lord. When the Sovereign Lord joins forces with me against you, you're dead. Not even your status as a fateless one can protect you. As Wretch God Ultimate was suppressed, Yang Qi power climbed, and his psychic scale and godhood rating rose. Whack! 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 Suddenly his body exploded, as did his monarch godhood, becoming a tempest that swept through his empire, causing it to tremble. Lightning fell as countless living things rose up. The detonation of his monarch godhood represented nothing. He had finally stepped into the half an old level. Chapter 1577, Becoming Half an Old Yang Chi had taken advantage of the situation and blown through all lines of defense. Wretch God Ultimate had collapsed, and Yang Chi devoured his brain, until at last he broke through, detonating his monarch godhood. The power released by the explosion of his godhood connected to the everlasting Aegis, whereupon all people in the empire could sense the power of the breakthrough in their hearts. Everywhere throughout the empire, eyes were brimming with tears of excitement. They knew their emperor was now a half an old expert, which meant they were no longer weak and defenseless. At long last, they were a truly grand and magnificent empire. However, the fluctuations of the explosion didn't reach beyond the borders of the everlasting Aegis. No one outside had any idea what was happening inside. And that was a unique situation, as normally, the almighty beings would have sensed the ascension of a new half an old expert, and would have come to investigate. But Yang Chi didn't want the news spreading. Now that he was in the half an old level, there was nothing Wretch God Ultimate could do to fight back. As Yang Chi absorbed his brain, he reached a level fully a hundred times anything from before. His power, psyche, magic, and Aeus techniques were all unleashed as if floodgates had been opened. Agh! Wretch God Ultimate screamed. I'm not going to die. I'm going to enter a special state which will be a nightmare for you. I'll haunt you forever until I manage to possess you. It's impossible to truly get rid of half an old experts. The only way to possibly do it is to break into the full an old level. Eventually, Wretch God Ultimate's voice faded away. Yang Chi sank into silent contemplation, reigning in his power. His body was hardly discernible, as though it had vanished. That was what happened in the half an old level. The body didn't exist. Only the deathless and eternal psyche and will remained. Of course, immense power fluctuations resonated from the heart and mind, spanning the gap between that which was real and that which was illusory. God Legion Seal, Form A new God Legion Seal appeared in his hand. Although it was small and dim, that was only because it was an embryonic form. At the same time, golden imps appeared in the foreheads of all the sage monarch magistrates. They were faint, and couldn't compare to the true God Legion seal, almost as if they were simple ink wash paintings depicting the real version. But they were there. The magistrates were experiencing major changes in their form and structure. Yang Qi abilities of extrapolation had increased many times over, and he was now able to see all the areas in which the sage monarch magistrates were deficient. Although the tiny God Legion seals in their foreheads weren't complete, nor as strong as even one ten-thousandth of the real version, they still made the magistrates vastly stronger. In terms of the fighting prowess, they would soon be close to the level of God Lords. Yang Chi rose to his feet, pleased that the magistrates had taken a big step toward becoming more powerful. Now that he was in the half an old level, he could see everything more clearly and in more detail. His cultivation base was completely different from before making new levels of enlightenment much easier to achieve. In fact, he was approaching the point of being both omniscient and omnipotent. 
his psychic scale was nearing 900 billion, making him very close to reaching the level of a trillion. He was already far higher in level than the High Priestess. It was something extremely rare. Now that he was in the half an old level, it meant that he was superior to any other half an old expert that had ever existed. Even the Sovereign Lord. In terms of fighting prowess, he was without a doubt the number one figure in the God world. In fact, it might be impossible for the Perling to beat him at this point. At the same time, he now understood exactly what the Perling was. Purr. Purr, the moment Yang Chi reached the half an old level, the Perling spoke in its purring language, making it clear that it recognized Yang Chi as an invincible entity. Soon, Yang Chi would fight his true enemy, which was the essence of the God world. All half an old experts were threats to the essence of the God world, and it viewed every last one of them as enemies. Not even Proud Heaven was an exception. The time has come to rescue Master, Yang Chi thought, turning and heading in the direction of the Invincible Dogu. The Invincible Dogu's physical body was now the size of a normal person, but when he breathed out, minor universes and planes of existence appeared, similar to how the Great Necropolis had ejected immortal worlds. Begone, Essence of the God World Yang Chi was in a completely different state now. His fingers spread wide as he sent boundless power into the invincible Dogu, backing it with the full might of a half an old expert. Crack! He forcefully grabbed the ceiling marks inside his master, and they subsequently twitched as if to flee. However, Yang Chi didn't let them, but instead slowly assimilated them into himself. Then he waved his finger, sending another massive burst of power into the invincible Dogu. His master's will surged and his voice echoed out from inside the gateway. I'm finally back. My will was sealed by the essence of the god world for billions of years, but at long last, I can return. Everything trembled as the invincible Dogu slowly opened his eyes, then, with seemingly immense effort, rose to his feet. For a moment, he surged with power, but he quickly pulled it back in. Looking at Yang Chi, he said, Well done, Yang Chi. Very well done. All of my plans and preparations in the lower worlds have finally come to fruition. And it's all thanks to you. The ceiling marks placed on me by the essence of the god world are gone, and I can finally return to full power. I'm extremely grateful for the help you provided in the lower worlds, Master, Yang Chi replied. It's thanks to you that I've made so much progress. So it's only natural that I return the favor. Master, I don't think I need to go into a lot of detail about what we need to do next. Now that you're awake, focus on getting back to your full strength. Our dynasty is the strongest in existence, so we have nothing to fear from the demon folk empire or proud heaven. Sir, you need to go back to the invincible dynasty and take back control. Nobody will dare to oppose you. Once you have everything under control, we can combine our dynasties and I'll ordain you as the Imperial Preceptor. Exactly, the Invincible Dogu said, then sighed. You're many times more skilled at running governments than me, so it makes more sense for you to get the Invincible Dynasty in order. I don't want the destiny, either. I'll make full use of my position as Imperial Preceptor to take more disciples and found the Invincible College. I'll be a sage of the Empire with my primary responsibility being teaching. I will help all of the citizens to develop invincible faith and invincible fighting ability, whether they're fighting heaven, earth, or man. They'll be invincible in all. That'll work, Yang Chi said with a nod. Master, please accumulate some more disciples. You'll be unsurpassed as a sage of the empire. And now, I'll call all my fellow apprentices to offer you formal greetings. He issued a call, an eldest brother Mage Cloudwalker, Sword 17, and all the other apprentices from the old Invincible Society came to offer greetings, eyes overflowing with tears. Master! The Invincible Dugu burst out laughing. At long last, we've been reunited, and the Invincible Society will rise again. What reason do we have to shed tears? The circumstances now couldn't be better. Yang Chi started the ball rolling, and he's already stronger than the Sovereign Lord ever was. 
even if the Sovereign Lord somehow came back to life, he couldn't possibly deal with Yang Qi. Our task at hand is to unify the God world by defeating all the other dynasties. There's no time to relax. Come with me to further your cultivation. After all, brutal combat is on the way. With that, he began drawing on his immense experience to teach new techniques and skills to his apprentices. Now that the invincible Duga was awake, Yang Qi Empire had two half an old experts. They were already stronger than the King of God Mammoths and Demon Master, and definitely beyond the level of Proud Heaven. Unfortunately, Proud Heaven and the Deathless Heaven dynasty had the support of the essence of the God world, which made things different. They couldn't be taken lightly, and Yang Qi knew that if he wasn't careful, he could end up being wiped out. For now, the best thing to do was wait and see how things played out in the Demon Folk Empire. When the demons clashed with Proud Heaven, anything could happen. After all, the High Priestess was definitely going to cause trouble. The return of the Invincible Duga wasn't announced publicly. However, the loyal citizens all knew that they now had two half an old experts, and it made them more delighted and confident than ever. Destiny bubbled in the depths of the Empire, although no one on the outside had any idea. Smiling, Yang Qi looked in the direction of the Deathless Heaven dynasty, and saw that Proud Heaven had erected a powerful grey space in the middle of his roiling destiny. What? Yang Qi murmured, shooting to his feet. That's the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart. It was only natural that, upon devouring King Immortal Slayer, Proud Heaven had gained control of the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart. And now he was combining it with his empire's destiny to create something similar to Yang Qi Everlasting Aegis. If he succeeded, it would make it much more difficult for Yang Qi to invade. Thankfully, the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart could never compare to the Everlasting Aegis, which now had the Halls of Heaven as an integral part of it. Chapter 1578, Domination Yang Qi was becoming truly invincible. Now that he was in the half an old level, everything had become clear to him. He knew how to deal with all of Proud Heaven's machinations, and was pushing his own psychic scale toward the level of a trillion. That made him far beyond even the Sovereign Lord. With his power, he could definitely conquer everything that existed. For all intents and purposes, there was no one who could possibly match up to him. Proud Heaven is integrating the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart into his empire's destiny. It seems he's getting ready to fight a war of attrition. Or perhaps he'll use it to strengthen his ten universes. I need to take a closer look at what's going on. If he succeeds, and his cultivation base reaches the ultimate level, it'll be even easier for him to control the High Priestess. So what will she do about all this? Even as he contemplated these things, he could sense the aura of the High Priestess in the depths of the Deathless Heaven Empire. She sat unmoving as she focused her attention on what was happening in the dynasty. Her expression was grim. Next to her was Halen, who said, Master, it seems Proud Heaven is trying to fuse the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart with the destiny of his empire. If he succeeds, he'll be in even more control, and will be in an even more passive position. But is there anything we can do to stop him, considering how much he's shored up his defenses? From the murderous expression in her eyes, it seemed she wanted to immediately attack Proud Heaven. The Myriad Worlds Monarch chart was a powerful treasure belonging to King Immortal Slayer. If Proud Heaven assimilates it, the dynasty will fall even more firmly under his control, and will lose even more influence. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything we can do other than watch how things play out. Yang Void Prime seemed similarly worried. It's too bad that Swine Yang Chi forced me to use my fate seal. Otherwise, I might have been able to reach the half an old level by now. You're still half of a fateless one, the High Priestess said. Logically speaking, you should still have a chance to reach the half an old level. As she watched the Empire's destiny flow into the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart, her expression turned more and more furious. This proud heaven is really pushing things too far. I'm not going to let him get away with this. Unfortunately, I'm not strong enough to deal with him alone. 
if we just had a third half an old expert, we could take him on. I'm the most likely to reach that level, Yang Void Prime said. All of a sudden, he seemed to realize something, and laughed. High Priestess, don't tell me you want to help me break through? I don't see how that's possible. The only way for me to do it would be to devour Yang Chi and take the rest of the fateless power he has. If I became a full fateless one, then I'd definitely be strong enough to take on Proud Heaven. But Yang Chi won't be easy to kill. His empire has been transforming lately, and its destiny is constantly growing. That's true. Yang Qi Empire keeps improving in destiny, although I'm not able to see inside to identify exactly what's going on. To her, the everlasting Aegis and the Sage Monarch Empire seemed like an enormous sphere of stone, hanging in the middle of primal chaos, slowly rotating as it absorbed the surrounding energy. It was even drawing on the power of the God World. He's very audacious to be feeding off the God World like that, the High Priestess said angrily. The essence of the God World is bound to be furious, and want him dead. But his empire's defenses are so strong, and he's already independent from the God World. He has plenty of advantages over us. After all, we're completely dependent on the God World for our resources. I wonder what level his cultivation base has reached. Logically speaking, he shouldn't have much trouble reaching the half an old level. Once he does, he should create a resonance with heaven and earth, allowing me to sense it. But so far, I haven't sensed anything. Master, forget about Yang Chi, Halen said through gritted teeth. We won't need to worry about him later, and when we do, it should be easy to either kill him or force him into flight. As they say, before defending against invaders, pacify the interior. I can sense that Proud Heaven is getting more influential, and more old-timers are siding with him. For example, the Patriarch of the Universe has already defected from us. We absolutely have to kill Proud Heaven as soon as possible. Why don't we lend someone a knife and have them do our dirty work for us? Oh? Who exactly do you mean, the High Priestess said. We can't use Yang Chi as our knife. He's too clever, and besides, his cultivation base is too weak. He's only strong when he taps into that destiny of his. I say that we use the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master. Use them to crush Proud Heaven. Furthermore, the Duga clan and their invincible dynasty seems to have gained new momentum, and their energy is growing. I wonder if the invincible Dugu has awakened. If so, the God world will be partitioned even further. What? The Duga clan? The invincible dynasty. The high priestess cast her vision in the direction of the invincible dynasty, and found that it was as sealed as tightly as a turtle in a shell. No one came in or out, which meant there was no influx of resources. It was almost as if they had endless resources at their disposal. This is really strange, Yang Void Prime said. There's no way a dynasty could have that many resources stockpiled. The Invincible Dynasty is entirely made up of humans, which means they're definitely using up a lot of resources. And everyone knows that just sitting and eating, one can deplete even a mountain of wealth. They can't be doing what Yang Qi Everlasting Aegis does, and constantly producing their own resources. Can they? And how is the destiny of their dynasty so strong? Everyone there seems peaceful and calm, as if they aren't afraid of anything. It's what you might expect if they had a half an old expert stationed there. Could it be that the invincible Duga really is awake now? Everyone else was similarly shocked. The invincible Duga has a mysterious and unfathomable cultivation base, the high priestess said, and she sounded worried. Not even I'm confident that I could handle him. If he's awake then everyone is going to be worried about him. However, based on what I can see, I don't think he is. If he was, the Invincible Dynasty wouldn't be hiding away like a turtle. As for their resources, it's likely the Everlasting Aegis is helping them. What? Yang Void Prime said in shock. You're saying Yang Chi worked out a deal with the Invincible Dynasty? How is that even possible? It's not impossible. Halen said coldly. 
Yang Chi needs the help of the Invincible Dogu to keep his empire safe. And the Invincible Dogu needs Yang Chi for resources. It makes perfect sense for them to reach an agreement. Although, I wouldn't worry too much. They're definitely going to end up plotting against each other, and it will end up weakening Yang Chi and his empire. Furthermore, if they were really working together sincerely, why wouldn't they combine their empires? Why would they leave things as they are? Although Halen's analysis seemed to make sense, she was actually playing right into Yang Qi hands. After all, the reason he hadn't combined empires was because he didn't want impure destiny staining his everlasting aegis. Of course, now that the invincible Duga was awake, it would be easy to fix that problem. But he still wanted to keep the smokescreen up. If they combined empires and revealed that they had two half an old experts, it was a given that Proud Heaven, the High Priestess, the King of God Mammoths, and the Demon Master would find out, and they would do everything possible to destroy them. Maintaining a front of weakness wouldn't ensure that people would ignore them, but would at least give more time to prepare. Only when the time was right would Yang Chi grow his empire. Furthermore, he could make it seem to outsiders like his empire and the Invincible Dynasty were struggling for dominance. So far, everything was going according to plan. In the past, he had wanted news of his empire to spread, so that people would flock to join him. But now he had his ascendants, who weren't connected to the God world, and he had made himself independent from the God world. That meant the essence of the God world had less and less control over him. All right. I'm going to go see the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master, the High Priestess said, rising to her feet. No, Master. Halen said. Then she smiled. I suggest you and Yang Void Prime go together. Tell the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master that you want to overthrow Proud Heaven. Kill him. But Yang Void Prime needs to step into the half an old level first. You can't do it yourself, but if they help you, it'll definitely be possible. Ah, yes. That sounds good. The High Priestess chuckled. That said, Halen, I also need to make all of this worthwhile for you. Agreed, Halen said. I'll trust your judgment, Master. Yang Void Prime, you come with me. Whoosh. The two of them vanished into thin air as they headed in the direction of the Demon Folk Empire. You're finally going to meet your end, proud heaven, Halen thought, a vicious smile playing out on her face. However, a moment later, she ground her teeth. Of course, I'm not going to let Yang Chi off the hook. Ha <laughs> ha. Yang Void Prime, do you really think that my master is so kind-hearted to just freely help you reach the half an old level? Once you succeed, I'll rip the husk of your body away and get your fateless one status. I'm going to devour both you and Yang Chi. Chapter 1579, The Cool Eye of the Bystander A crafty smile could be seen on Halen's face. Truth be told, it wasn't out of good intentions that she convinced Yang Void Prime to go with the High Priestess to see the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master. Yang Void Prime obviously didn't have as good a relationship with the High Priestess as Halen did. After all, Halen was the High Priestess' apprentice. The High Priestess had arranged everything in advance, preparing this elaborate trap for Yang Void Prime, with the intention of giving his cultivation base to Halen. Halen was a profound schemer, but her cultivation base was only at the level of around 200 billion. And she deeply wanted to reach the half an old level. Chuckling coldly, she prepared her cultivation base to start absorbing destiny from the empire around her. However, that was when an immense wave of power washed over her, and she suddenly realized that Proud Heaven was standing in front of her. Oh, it's you, Your Majesty, she said, snapping out of her reverie. Might I ask why you've graced me with your presence? What commands might you have for me? She was under no illusions that he had come for benevolent reasons. The court had essentially split into two factions, with one loyal to Proud Heaven, and the other siding with the High Priestess. The friction between the two factions was growing increasingly intense, although the top leaders were still refraining from personally interfering. 
Furthermore, Proud Heaven was supposed to be working hard on the Empire's aegis, and shouldn't have had the time to come see her. Halen was completely on guard. Did the High Priestess and Yang Void Prime just leave for somewhere? Proud Heaven asked. Where did they go? I'm not sure, she replied. Would you like to wait here until they get back, Your Majesty? You can ask them yourself. Halen, Proud Heaven said casually, sitting down and fixing his eyes on her like a predator eyeing prey, a lot of experts seem to be siding against me nowadays. I know you're the High Priestess Apprentice, but have you ever considered working with me instead? I'm going to take over the God World, eventually. Yang Chi isn't even close to being a match for me. I'm not sure what you mean, Your Majesty. I already am loyal to you. Everything I do is for the sake of the Empire. Halen knew exactly what was going on. Now that the High Priestess was away, Proud Heaven was taking advantage of her absence and trying to recruit Halen. But did he really think she would switch sides because of a simple invitation? He should at least offer some compelling arguments, or a reward of some sort. Your Majesty, we're always more than happy to offer advice to help you overcome any personal obstacles, Halen said, sticking to the prescribed formalities of the court. Obviously, she didn't want Proud Heaven uncovering any of her own weaknesses. Remember, the Empire doesn't belong to you alone, it belongs to the citizens. If the people find fault with you, it's our job to help you rectify the situation. And so, Your Majesty, I really hope that you can refrain from this talk about factions and sides. We're all working together for the same purpose. For the same Heavenly Empire. Oh really? Proud Heaven said with a smile. This is a personal conversation between you and me, so you can drop the official jargon. I know you want to reach the half an old level. After all, you're ambitious. Furthermore, you know a lot about Yang Chi, and I need help in that regard. So join me. If you do, I'll make sure you reach the half an old level. Is that so? Halen said, her heart pounding. That said, she didn't really trust Proud Heaven. Your Majesty, if you could really help me improve my cultivation base, that would be wonderful. But I don't think I deserve that. How could I possibly be so blessed? And why would you give me a reward like that? Lounging on the chair haughtily, Proud Heaven stared at Halen with a piercing gaze as he said, What do you think of the destiny in the Empire, Halen? The destiny of the Deathless Heaven Empire is boundless and invincible, superior to any empire that existed from ancient times until now. Not even the Sovereign Lord's Court could compare. It's the result of the hard work of all the loyal citizens of the Empire. She was intentionally refraining from giving credit to Proud Heaven, in the hopes of seeing how he would react. Normally speaking, she should be lavishing him with praise, considering he was the Emperor. Proud Heaven didn't seem to get angry at all. In fact, he smiled. The hard work of the citizens? I'd say that if people weren't so interested in plotting and scheming, the destiny would be even better. Halen, an honest person does not resort to insinuation. Where did the High Priestess and Yang Void Prime go? To visit the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master, to ask for their help in overthrowing me? The High Priestess has never really liked me, has she? Careful, Your Majesty, Halen said. I really don't know where the High Priestess and Yang Void Prime went. But they definitely aren't doing anything to harm the interests of the Empire. Of that I'm sure. Your Majesty, if you start recklessly hurling accusations at your officials, it's definitely going to harm the destiny of the Empire. Despite her words, Halen was profoundly shocked. She had assumed that the High Priestess' actions were top secret. After all, the High Priestess was a half an old expert, which should have made it impossible for anyone to spy on her. But apparently, Proud Heaven knew everything that was going on. Proud Heaven laughed coldly. Not shed a tear until seeing the coffin? It's not as though you're up to any good, Halen. You want to use Yang Void Prime to get to the half an old level. By possessing him. 
taking his quintessence blood and vital energy. Unfortunately, your little plan isn't going to work. I don't know what you're talking about, Halen said, so shocked that she forgot to address him as your majesty. That alone showed how discomfited she was. Yang Void Prime isn't a complete fool, Proud Heaven said. Although you've been close with him up to this point, even giving him your body, he still doesn't trust you. Of that, I can assure you. Furthermore, he's hoping to devour you. By the way, you probably don't know that when two people have fateless power, they're fatally connected. If Yang Void Prime dies, his fateless power will immediately be transferred to Yang Qi. There's nothing anyone can do to stop it. In the past, I was planning to kill Yang Void Prime, but later on, I realized the truth, which is why I've kept him alive. Otherwise, do you really think he would still be around? Why why you, Halen stammered. How did you find that out? You forget that I'm now the representative of the essence of the God world. I know everything the God world knows. In other words, I'm far more informed than the Sovereign Lord ever was. And I'm privy to many matters. For instance, I've been keeping an eye on the High Priestess. You can't keep secrets from me, Halen. I know how ambitious you are, but did you really think that you are strong enough to dominate everyone else in the God world? There was killing intent hidden in Proud Heaven's words, and Halen could sense it. If I join you, Proud Heaven, how exactly will you make sure I reach the half an old level? Halen had made her decision. In the end, Proud Heaven was simply too terrifying. Proud Heaven chuckled darkly. Simple. You become my woman. I'll appoint you as my empress, making you the mother of everything under heaven. You and I will have an equal share of the destiny of the empire, and will jointly control everything in existence. As the representative of the High Priestess, you have command of an enormous faction that you can bring to our side. In the end, the High Priestess will be isolated and helpless. Is that so? Halen said with a smile. Now she knew what Proud Heaven wanted, and what he wanted her to do. But I'm already Yang Void Prime's woman, and I have been since ancient times. If I become your Empress, that'll be a big stain on my reputation. And how will Yang Void Prime react? He'll go crazy. None of that matters. I'm the Emperor. What does Yang Void Prime count for, compared to that? I'll keep him in check, and make sure he knows what'll happen if he acts up. Besides all I have to do is break his Dao heart, and he'll never be able to reach the coveted half an old level. Proud Heaven laughed darkly. The matter is fairly simple. He's working with the High Priestess against me, all for the purpose of breaking through to half an old. And that was a big mistake. I like the way you think, Proud Heaven, Halen said, flashing a dazzling smile. You're right, I do have control of a major faction. The High Priestess wants the power of a clique, but doesn't want to deal with its day-to-day -day affairs. She wants to focus on cultivating and strategizing. So she's long since handed control to me. There are a lot of officials in the government who are loyal to me specifically. If I become Empress, we can unite the dynasty, and Yang Void Prime and the High Priestess won't be able to do a thing about it. We can even get rid of them, eventually. However, there's one issue. How do I know I can trust you? What more can I do? As the Empress, you'll be mine, and you'll have to be loyal to me. At the same time, I'll have no reason to work against you. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Well said, Halen said, nodding. When will you make the announcement? The sooner the better. In fact, how about immediately? As he spoke, his eyes gleamed with a lascivious light. After all, once you're the Empress, you'll be mine, and you'll have to do whatever I want you to. What's that mean, Proud Heaven? Halen said. Proud Heaven's lascivious look hadn't gone unnoticed, and she suddenly had a very bad feeling. It seemed that Proud Heaven wanted to do something inappropriate right then and there. You're a half an old expert, Proud Heaven. Can't you wait just a bit longer? 
Look, I need to think about this. I never agreed to be your empress. And I currently have the rank of Grand Princess, so don't even think of acting outside protocol. Snorting coldly, Proud Heaven rose to his feet. Outside protocol? I'm in charge here, and I've been waiting long enough. What the Emperor wants, he gets. I'm going to unite the entire God world, and all other empires and dynasties are just stepping stones for me. You're with me now, Halen, whether you like it or not. I'm curious to see if you have anything you think can be used to stop me. As the words left his mouth, he smiled cruelly and reached out to grab her clothing. Chapter 1580, The Cool Eye of the Bystander, Part 2 Stop right there, proud heaven. Halen said. Sadly, the high priestess wasn't here to step in and interfere. Proud heaven had picked the perfect moment to violate her, and there was nothing she could do about it. He was like a bear pouncing on a helpless rabbit, and in the blink of an eye, Halen's clothing was being ripped off. Proud Heaven chuckled evilly as he prepared to satiate his primal desires, and simultaneously force Halen to become loyal to him. In his belief, the best way to seize the loyalty of a woman was to control her body. You're completely shameless, Proud Heaven. Halen shrieked. But in the end, she had to give in. What's this? Yang Chi murmured. He had been studying the destiny of the Deathless Heaven dynasty, and noticed that it suddenly started bubbling madly as it became more united than ever. He frowned. What just happened? The destiny of the Deathless Heaven dynasty used to be split in two, thanks to Proud Heaven and the High Priestess opposing each other. So why is it united now? After examining the destiny more closely, he picked up on some clues. The High Priestess faction was being run by that vicious schemer, Halen. And the High Priestess just left to see the King of God Mammoths about overthrowing Proud Heaven. Halen remained behind. Wait, does this mean Proud Heaven somehow subjugated her? As Yang Chi looked on with the cool eye of a bystander, he became convinced that that was what had just happened. If Proud Heaven had subjugated her, the destiny could be united and the High Priestess would be forced into a dead end. And it would even be possible for Proud Heaven to work out a deal with the King of God Mammoths. Of course, Halen was no simpleton. She had a wicked heart, so for all Yang Chi knew, she might have manipulated Proud Heaven for her own advantage, and was now waiting to take everything away from him. In the Impure Lands, Yang Chi had dealt with Yun Halen, who was a wool projection of Halen. Yun Halen had been crafty and murderous, causing immense trouble for Yang Chi on numerous occasions. If anything, Halen had to be even more treacherous and deadly than Yun Halen. So if Proud Heaven was subjugating Halen, it seemed entirely likely that he was actually falling for her plot. Well played. Very well played. Well, while you people are fighting amongst yourselves. I'll have my sage monarch magistrates working on getting stronger and stronger. And my ascendants will also be working on their cultivation. It won't be long before we surpass the deathless heaven dynasty, and I'll be in a position to conquer everything. Laughing, proud heaven crawled off of Halen and said, Now you're my woman. In short order, we'll go through the ceremony to make you empress. Then, We'll take stock of the situation in the Empire and put all the resources in order. As Halen put her clothes back on, her pupils glittered. Once I'm the Empress, can I use the destiny to step into the half an old level? There isn't enough, Proud Heaven replied. I'll use the essence of the God world, instead. Now get out of my way so I can make the announcement. Soon, word was spreading that the Emperor had decided to take an Empress. Many eyes went wide. Halen was a major enemy of Proud Heaven's faction, and was the representative of the High Priestess. And a lot of people knew that she was Yang Void Prime's woman. But now she was with Proud Heaven? What was going on? Many people realized that Proud Heaven was striking the High Priestess right in her weak spot. The High Priestess had given control of the faction to Halen, and now Halen had switched sides. That meant the High Priestess was now a general with no troops to command. 
But why hadn't the High Priestess done something to prevent this? Where exactly was she? The announcement caused a huge stir as preparations were made for the wedding and coronation. It only took a day for everyone to hear the news, and for an immense stage to be set up in the middle of the empire. There, proud Heaven and Halen appeared, wearing extravagant garments. With the essence of the god world there to bear witness, they were wed. Everything trembled as numerous supernatural signs appeared, thanks to the essence of the god world. Streams of energy converged on Halen, surrounding her with dazzling light that seemed befitting of an empress. Let the essence of the god world bear witness to the fact that I, proud Heaven, and Halen, are now a married couple. Let everyone know that Halen is the empress, and that together, we rule all creation by means of the deathless Heaven dynasty. Rumble. As the words left his mouth, a deathless energy settled onto Halen, and her cultivation base rose. Dazzling light shone from her, making it seem like she might well rise all the way to the annulled level. However, in the end, she didn't even reach the half-annulled level. The power she received after becoming the Empress left her just shy of that benchmark. That said, she could sense that she now had hope of making that final breakthrough and her cultivation base was already three times as strong as it had been before. In the past, it wouldn't have mattered how she tried to further her cultivation, she would never have reached the half an old level. But things were different now. There was a huge difference between having no hope at all, and having immense hope. Seeing Halen's psychic scale rise, proud Heaven couldn't help but smile. Halen, there's only one thing you lack. One thing preventing you from reaching the half an old level. And what's that? Halen asked, her eyes glittering coldly. The truth was that being violated by proud heaven hadn't left her with any feelings at all. On the contrary, it was a humiliation that she would repay with thousands of times the fury she felt right now. She would make sure that proud heaven lived a life in which he longed to die. However, for the time being, she had to go along to get what she wanted. Simple. The High Priestess Soul. If you get it, you'll definitely reach the half an old level. For now, the High Priestess has no idea that we're working together. But she'll be back, sooner or later. Once she steps inside the borders of the Empire, she'll be living on borrowed time. The two of us need to work together to kill her, then you can devour her soul to break through. We're in a dangerous spot right now. If word spreads, and she finds out, it could ruin everything. So let's strengthen the empire while we can. Call a meeting. Have all the old timers you're connected to come talk about joining me. The stronger the empire's destiny gets, the mightier will be. And the essence of the god world will support me more as well. As I fuse the destiny with the myriad worlds monarch chart, the essence of the god world will provide more and more resources. For some reason, the essence seems more and more determined to get rid of Yang Chi. Apparently, his everlasting aegis is a major threat to the god world. Halen nodded. It is. The god needs to absorb primal chaos Palea energy to expand. And the everlasting aegis does the same thing. They're basically predators competing for the same prey. They're obviously enemies. That said, if the god world can provide more resources for our empire, that's good news. We definitely need to kill the high priestess as quickly as possible. If she forges an alliance with the king of god mammoths and the demon master, it'll make things difficult for us. Don't worry. They're all dead. The essence of the god world supports me, and when the moment comes, it'll help me crush all my enemies. Proud Heaven laughed. All right, let's begin. Streams of energy coursed through the dynasty with sky obfuscating, land and shrouding force. One by one, all of the various factions were coming under Proud Heaven's control. Apparently, forcing Halen onto his side had been a good move, and Proud Heaven was very pleased with how things were playing out. So, he's starting. Yang Chi thought as he observed the changes to the destiny in Proud Heaven's empire. Now I just need to wait for Proud Heaven and the High Priestess to clash. There's no way the High Priestess can come back from this. 
she's a general with no troops to command, and once the fighting breaks out, one of them will die for sure. If the High Priestess really doesn't know what's happened, then Proud Heaven will definitely come out on top. Meanwhile, I'll be waiting to take advantage of this battle between a dragon and a tiger. Yang Chi could tell that Proud Heaven was getting rid of the factions in his empire just by observing. Yang Chi could also see the Aegis forming there, and how it connected to the essence of the god world to create resources. The everlasting Aegis could produce resources, and now Proud Heaven was accomplishing the same thing. In fact, it could produce even more resources than the everlasting Aegis. The God World wanted to get rid of the parasite that was Yang Qi, thus it was giving immense power and help to Proud Heaven. Yang Qi chuckled. The essence of the God World is giving Proud Heaven a lot of help. Apparently, it doesn't realize how much of an ungrateful and vicious person he is. When the time comes, he's definitely going to use the Great Necropolis to devour the God World. Now to see how things work out with the High Priestess and the King of God Mammoths. Chapter 1581, Intense Infighting Yang Chi was holding back to see how things played out, hoping to work things to his own advantage. He wasn't announcing that he had reached the half an old level, and wasn't combining with the Invincible Dynasty. As a result, any outsider who looked his way would think he was a lot weaker than he actually was. Because of that, the High Priestess and Proud Heaven felt free to struggle with each other without worrying that he might interfere. If Yang Chi were to be perceived as being too powerful, Proud Heaven and the High Priestess would feel compelled to refrain from infighting. They would stick together and stand strong against him. But when external pressure was light, they wouldn't hesitate to move against each other. Yang Chi didn't want to put pressure on any of his enemies. He wanted them fighting amongst themselves while he remained locked up inside his own empire, slowly growing stronger. He wanted to become the top power in the entire god world, unbeknownst to everyone else. Of course, part of it was also that he wasn't quite confident that he was in a position to go on the offensive. So he couldn't have been more pleased to see that the High Priestess and Proud Heaven were at each other's throats. If that slut Halen has become Proud Heaven's Empress, then this is a perfect opportunity for me. I need to find a chance to capture and subjugate her. Then I can place her next to Proud Heaven as my pawn. Yes. The time has come to finally subjugate her. Yang Chi wouldn't pull any punches in dealing with Halen. And by now, his cultivation base had made him the number one expert in the entire god world. The main thing he was worried about was multiple half an old experts teaming up on him and he knew that there were still old-timers out there hiding, just waiting to make a move. Of course, the two most powerful of all the old-timers had yet to show their faces, the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. They had to be out there somewhere, hiding in an unknown location and watching things develop in the God world, waiting to take advantage of the moment. If Yang Chi, the King of God Mammoths, Proud Heaven, the High Priestess, and the Demon Master got into some deadly fight, it was a given that those two would jump in at some point. So for now, Yang Chi did nothing. His main concern was the Sovereign Lord, who had previously been the top expert in the God world. Someone like him wouldn't just die, and it was entirely likely that he had become stronger than he was in the past. Although Yang Chi wasn't afraid of fighting him one on one, he was worried about what would happen if the Sovereign Lord ambushed him. Yang Chi had been able to track Reg God Ultimate's aura, and ultimately devour him. But he couldn't find the Sovereign Lord's aura anywhere in the Halls of Heaven, thus he couldn't follow him. Unfortunately, neither could he use the Mahatma Jade to find the true devil. Both had cast aside all of their previous glory, entering a mysterious state that would make them very hard to defeat. Thus, Yang Chi was waiting. He knew how to be patient and how to wait until he had an advantage. Next, he shifted his gaze to the distant demon folk empire, whose energy was growing along with its population. If all of the demon folk in the god world were united, or even just a third of them, they would outnumber the humans by many times over. The only reason they had never overwhelmed humanity was because they lacked the ability to act together. 
That was why an army of a billion humans could easily rout an army of a hundred billion demon folk. Another factor was that demon folk tended to have lower cultivation bases. But things were changing. As the human empires struggled to maintain cohesion, the demon folk were rising, and madly inflicting vengeance on the smaller human groups. Yang Chi couldn't afford to pay attention to that now. The Invincible Dynasty would occasionally send people out to rid the world of devils and demons, bringing any humans they encountered back into their empire. But that didn't have anything to do with the Sage Monarch Empire. For the time being, Yang Chi was just working on his cultivation and watching things play out in the God world. We're here. The High Priestess and Yang Void Prime had reached a location with endless forest-covered mountains. This was the Demon Folk Empire and the demon energy was immense. Furthermore, order could be seen. Although it couldn't match up to that of the humans, it made it obvious that half an old experts were in charge. I can't believe the demon folk empire has destiny as amazing as this, Yang Void Prime said. But then he shook his head. Sadly, demon folk are demon folk, and they can't change their genes and life force. They're innately chaotic and evil. They might have managed to piece together this empire, but they're going to end up tearing each other apart. In the impure lands, wolves were meant to eat sheep, and there was no way to change that, no matter how hard you tried. And despite the fact that this demon folk empire had been created, there was no way that demon folk could actually exist in orderly fashion. Nor was there any way they could truly cooperate with non demon folk. Every empire had factions and infighting. The demon folk were no exception, and it was definitely going to lead to fierce competition. At least human factions could reach balance and cooperate. With demon folk, that was just impossible. For example, the wolf demons couldn't ever get along with the sheep demons. They had blood feuds going back generations, and such things couldn't be forgotten. In the end, this empire couldn't be stable. Not even using force would really do any good. The Demon Master had tried that in the past, and it had ultimately failed. You're right, the High Priestess said. The Demon Folk Empire won't progress past this current level. Not even the most almighty entity can change the fundamental nature of the Demon Folk. The demons number as many as the Eternal Sands, and they simply have no mental concept of what national unity is. I don't think the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master intend for this to be a truly lasting empire. They probably want to use the Demon Folk to feed some sort of spell formation. How very vicious of them! A blood sacrifice to help the two of them to reach personal breakthroughs. You're wrong, High Priestess, someone said in a sonorous voice. The High Priestess backed up as a burly man appeared, clan in animal skins. He seemed like the personification of all the power and will in the world, and was clearly barbaric and violent. At the same time, he seemed strong enough to prop up the halls of heaven on his shoulders, and crush the horde of devils in hell. Yang Void Prime also sensed that this person was as mighty as a mountain. He was none other than the king of god mammoths. In terms of raw power, no one could match up to him. In ancient times, it was impossible to say how many devils in hell he had awed, and how many top experts had trembled at the thought of his name. Nor was it possible to determine exactly how many enemies he had slain. Yang Void Prime backed up a few paces, trembling inwardly as he realized what sort of mighty being he was looking at. The King of God Mammoths was vastly superior to Proud Heaven in every way. Incredible, he thought. Just what I'd expect of the King of God Mammoths. No wonder he was considered the strongest expert in ancient times, someone who could crush the nine heavens and ten earths, a person who the Legion of Gods bent their heads to. You're right that demon folk are chaotic, the King of God Mammoths said, and will only think of personal interest instead of the good of the nation. But that doesn't matter. We can change that. You see, the Demon Master gained enlightenment of a deo that can unite the countless demons, and even now, we're teaching our people about it. The disorder among us is being rooted out and we're gradually learning how to live harmoniously. Eventually, no other races will exist at all, other than demons. There will be no humans. 
No sprite folk, mage folk, or even ordinary mortals. No one will exist but us. With that, he threw his head back and laughed uproariously. Ah, it's been a long time, High Priestess. The years haven't been kind, have they? Billions of years have passed, yet it doesn't seem like much time has gone by. We've finally reached the true golden age. I suppose we ought to sit and reminiscence a bit. King of God Mammoths, the Sovereign Lord is dead, the High Priestess said. Clearly, she wanted to get right to the point. Now, people are fighting for supremacy of the God world. Unfortunately, that brat proud heaven has gained the support of the essence of the God world. He's already too much for me to handle, and I'm sure you can envision what's to come. In addition to the support of the God world, he has the great necropolis, and he devoured King Immortal Slayer. He's going to conquer the entire God world unless we join forces to crush him. Wipe him out of existence for all time. The High Priestess and the King of God Mammoths were very familiar with each other. Although they had fought each other in the past, the billions of years that had gone by had removed any animosity they felt for each other. Both of them cared for little else other than personal gain. You don't need to explain, the King of God Mammoths said with a smile. I understand everything. You've been patient, High Priestess. I'm honestly surprised you waited so long to come see me. In any case, yes. Proud Heaven has to die. You don't need to convince me. Chapter 1582, Breakthrough for Yang Void Prime With a decisiveness that could sever nails and chop iron, the King of God Mammoth said, Proud Heaven has to die. And it caused wide smiles to appear on the face of Yang Void Prime and the High Priestess. Yes, the vile and repulsive Proud Heaven must die, the High Priestess echoed. It doesn't matter whether or not he's vile and repulsive, the King of God Mammoth said. He has the great necropolis and the support of the essence of the God world. And that means he needs to be dead. The God world is our greatest enemy. It will continue to grow and grow until it reaches its limit. Eventually, it will explode, allowing primal chaos Palea energy to rush inside, destroying all living beings. We half an old experts will be the first to go. Years ago, the Sovereign Lord perished because of the God world, and the other old-timers like us were hoodwinked. Tricked by the God world. But that's not going to happen again. The downside is that, over the billions of years since then, the essence of the God world has grown stronger. So what do we do, the High Priestess asked. And what do we do about the additional enemy, Yang Chi? He's created a second version of the God world. I'm aware of him. He's half of a fateless one, and he has the God Legion seal. On his journey from the impure lands to here, he's always defied fate, and has been impossible to keep tabs on. He even assimilated the halls of heaven. However, he can be dealt with. Since you've brought the other half fateless one here, I can help turn him into a half an old expert. And I can teach him an incredibly powerful energy art. Then, all he has to do is forcefully summon away the rest of the fateless energy from Yang Chi, and he can become whole. At that point, he'll be a full fateless one, and Yang Chi will be nothing but an ordinary person. Summon it away. Yang Void Prime said, visibly pleased. Of course, he knew it would come at a very high price. The King of God Mammoths, the Demon Master, and the High Priestess weren't going to make him a half an old expert for free. And it begged the question of what they would want in return. Chuckling, the High Priestess said, You're as frank and straightforward as ever, King of God Mammoths. And I agree. You expressed my views perfectly. Here I thought I was going to have to go into a big speech to explain things. Instead, you planned everything out and were just waiting for me to come along and agree. Yes. So let's get going. There's no need to waste any more time. The King of God Mammoths made a grasping gesture, and before Yang Void Prime could do anything, he was grabbed and taken into the depths of the Demon Folk Empire. Yang Void Prime was strong but compared to the King of God Mammoths, he was like nothing. 
Only now did he realize why the king of God Mammoths had been considered the most powerful person in ancient times. Not even the Sovereign Lord had been on par with him. In the depths of the demon folk empire, Yang Void Prime and the High Priestess were shocked to see countless golden giants leading the demon folk in prayer. The demon folk were changing as a result, gradually becoming less chaotic. They were literally turning into a new form of life. This, the High Priestess said. You're really transforming the demon folk on a fundamental level. This is going to be a monumental undertaking. No, it's going to be a snowball effect, the King of God Mammoth said with a smile. I have Yang Chi to thank for this. I'm just copying his sage monarch magistrates. They were all the inspiration I needed to gain the new enlightenment I needed to create my kings of order. They're even better than the sage monarch magistrates. After all, Yang Chi is only able to use the Dao of the Lord of Civilization. I know far more about ancient civilizations than Yang Chi could ever know. Furthermore, I'm a half an old expert. So how could his creations possibly measure up to my kings of order? His version of the strength of the hell-crushing god mammoth is crap. I created that technique to begin with, and I didn't need it to be linked to the god legion seal. So in the end, I'm not worried at all about Yang Chi. I just want him for his fateless energy. You really live up to your reputation, King of God Mammoths. The High Priestess sighed admiringly. Impressive. Very, very impressive. You've obviously surpassed me, and I can do nothing about it but offer you praise. There's no need to be unduly humble, High Priestess, someone said. All of a sudden, a middle-aged man appeared who had the bearing of a sage or Mahatma. In the darkness created by the demon folk, he was a mass of shining radiance and light, and seemed to radiate a sense of order. He was none other than the Demon Master. Demon Master, the High Priestess exclaimed. It's been a long time, High Priestess, he said. Back when I opposed the Sovereign Lord, you and I fought a few times. But it's been years, so let's let bygones be bygones. For all we know, the Sovereign Lord might not be dead, and could be waiting to make a comeback. And if he does, he'll be the number one figure in the god world. Right now, our main enemies are Proud Heaven and Yang Chi. However, there are others to worry about, such as the True Devil and the Wretch God. So what do we do now, the High Priestess asked. Seeing all you old friends again really fills me with hope. That Proud Heaven and his Deathless Heaven Empire has made me so angry I feel like coughing up blood. Our next move is obvious, the Demon Master said. We help Yang Void Prime achieve his breakthrough. No one else has the potential he does, not even my own daughter Ryuo Chen. After Yang Void Prime achieves his breakthrough, said the King of God Mammoths, we can work with him to cast the summoning spell that'll take Yang Qi fateless energy away from him. We'll all have a share of the spoils boosting our cultivation bases to the point where crushing Proud Heaven will be as easy as turning over a hand. Without his status as a fateless one, Yang Chi will never reach the half an old level. We can then simply enslave him and take over his empire, benefiting from its incredible destiny. Exactly, the Demon Master said. The final task will be to crush the essence of the God world. At some point along the way, the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil will come out of hiding, and we can devour them. Once the God World is truly ours, our day of transcendence will be at hand. In that case, the High Priestess said, we should begin immediately. How do you plan to improve his cultivation base? Simple, the King of God Mammoths said. We have to fully unlock the potential of his fateless energy. You see, the reason the Sovereign Lord was so worried about fateless energy in the past is that it could have been used to surpass his level of power. High Priestess, you used to work with fateless energy in the past, so you're familiar with it. In other words, there's no need to pretend you don't know these things. Begin. As perceptive as ever, King of God Mammoths. Fine, I'll drop the act. Chuckling. The High Priestess reached out and put her hand on Yang Void Prime's head. At almost exactly the same time, 
the demon master and the king of god mammoths did the same. Three top experts were all working to stimulate the fateless power within him. It was definitely a possibility that this could provoke a breakthrough to the half an old level. Normally speaking, it wouldn't work, not even on someone like the patriarch of the universe, who had been a peak expert for billions of years. It would be like three powerful individuals throwing someone up into the air. No matter how hard they threw, that person would still fall back down to the ground. But if those same three people tossed a bird up into the air, then obviously the bird wouldn't fall. Yang Void Prime was like the bird. He was half of a fateless one, and had long since been in the position to break through. In fact, if Yang Chi hadn't forced him to use his fate seal, he probably would have already. Most people would have to follow the flow of the river of fate, but obviously, fateless ones could go against it. Rumble. As the three experts poured power into Yang Void Prime, he felt like he was going to explode. Immense power filled him, trembling with ferocity, similar to how a sea of oil would ignite if a meteor fell into it. I'm breaking through, he cried as his body was shredded to pieces, and his godhood collapsed. As he became like the void, his psyche reached a higher level. It was as if he had already died, and his soul had moved on to the most incomparably true and real world there was. In the blink of an eye, his view of everything changed, and he felt like he had previously been a tiny frog looking at the sky from the bottom of a well. But now he had leaped out of that well, and was on a mountain, looking around at the wide world around him. In the moment that he exploded, the High Priestess, King of God Mammoths, and Demon Master watched with delight. As they saw the connection between the fateless energy and the half an old level, they themselves were cleansed by the energy. Incredible, the King of God Mammoths said. Although we can't absorb the fateless energy directly, just being in its presence affects our fate, and makes us freer from the God world. And our cultivation bases are increasing. This is going to be a huge help in reaching the annulled level. Not even the Sovereign Lord could match this. Yes, this is amazing, the Demon Master said, laughing. It seems all of our enlightenment over the years isn't going to go to waste. I never imagined that fateless energy would be this profound, the High Priestess said. Proud heaven, I'm definitely going to make you regret everything you've done. Chapter 1583 Yang Chi makes a move. The King of God Mammoths, Demon Master, and High Priestess were all benefiting from observing the profundities of fateless energy. Despite all the billions of years they had lived, none of them had ever been able to see anything like it, thus the enlightenment they gained was immense. It took almost no time at all for Yang Void Prime to reach the half an old level. Instantly, he felt like his will was so powerful he could rule over all of heaven and earth. However, with the three experts glaring at him like tigers eyeing prey, he had to maintain a cool head. Despite his breakthrough, he couldn't possibly overcome those three. In fact, he couldn't even take on one of them right now. That said, he had still passed a major milestone, and couldn't have been more pleased. These three want to use me as a pawn. They helped me reach the half an old level, but I shouldn't be thanking them. I'll devour them sooner or later. Of course, I have to start with Yang Chi. Ha <laughs> ha. Just wait until I summon that fateless energy away from him and become a true fateless one. Then all three of you are dead. Completely and utterly finished. You've succeeded, said the King of God Mammoths. You truly have a lot of potential as a fateless one. Now we need to start the summoning. Let's work together with Yang Void Prime to strip Yang Chi of his fateless power. Once we do so, we can force him to work for us. Then, once we're at our peak, we'll take on proud heaven and the essence of the god world. Fateless ones really do have a lot of potential, the demon master said. Anyone else that we poured power into like that would have died. But as a fateless one, you used it to reach the half an old level. Incredible. Yes, let's begin the summoning, the high priestess said. All right. Activate the spell formation. The king of god mammoths knew they didn't have any time to lose, so he waved his hand, 
causing an enormous spell formation to appear. Get into the middle of the formation, Yang Void Prime. Understand, the Demon Master said. We made that with blood, sweat, and tears, over the course of many years. It can summon anything in existence, and is your key to getting immense power. Yang Void Prime's expression flickered. It seemed like an obvious trap, once he stepped into the formation, they would probably be able to kill him at any moment. What are you waiting for, Yang Void Prime, the High Priestess growled, not even making a pretense of courtesy. Get in the formation. Hold on, he said. Is it dangerous? What if Yang Chi takes my fateless power? That won't happen, the King of God Mammoths replied loudly. You're a half an old expert now, and he isn't. You'll instantly crush him. And even if he has somehow broken through, he won't be able to resist a summoning backed by the power of all three of us. He's going to die soon, so stop wasting time. If you don't, I'll just kill you. Don't think that because you're in the half an old level now you can just ignore us. Rumble. All of a sudden, a mammoth trunk appeared which wrapped around the shocked Yang Void Prime and threw him into the formation. He had only been in the half an old level for moments, which meant the King of God Mammoths was vastly stronger than him. Swish! He's still struggling, the High Priestess laughed. But you're far superior, King of God Mammoths. Maybe we should just take control of him. Puppetize him. Then when we take Yang Qi Fateless Power, we can split it three ways. Not a bad idea, the demon master said with a smile. There are no free gifts under heaven. This guy is destined to be our cash cow. If I were him, I would have already run as far away as possible to get stronger. Instead, he stuck around doing nothing, just giving us the chance to kill him. Begin the summoning, the king of god mammoth said, waving his hand. Instantly, the spell formation stirred to life. In the formation, pain racked Yang Void Prime, who finally understood that none of this was being done to benefit him. He was just being used as bait. He might be a half an old expert now, but the King of God Mammoths, Demon Master and High Priestess had left their power in him after the breakthrough, allowing them to control him. If he weren't in the formation, he might have been able to run away and hide somewhere, then slowly figure out a way to extrude their power. But now, he was trapped. He just couldn't compare to these three old-timers in terms of wisdom and cleverness. He felt like he was being roasted alive by fire, or tormented in the deepest depths of hell. Of course, that was because of the King of God Mammoths, who specialized in matters relating to hell. Yang Void Prime wasn't even strong enough to deal with the King of God Mammoths alone, let alone him working with the Demon Master and the High Priestess. Fateless Summoning the King of God Mammoths made a grasping gesture, and all heaven and earth seemed to shatter, causing brilliant light to shine about. Out of Body Incarnation, King of the Great Dao The King of God Mammoths was drawing on a consummate art to create an out of body incarnation. It was called King of the Great Dao, and it was so amazing that as soon as it appeared, the High Priestess' face fell. Fear not, High Priestess, the King of God Mammoths said. We won't treat you like this brat. You're an old friend, whereas this kid wants to crap all over us. Obviously, we won't go for that. As of this moment, I have a second identity, the King of the Great Dao. I learned this from the Sovereign Lord, a consummate art he cultivated with the intention of transcending the essence of the God world. Sadly, he fell before he succeeded. But I learned the essence of the technique and now I'm going to use this fateless power to complete my King of the Great Dao. Then, the King of God Mammoths will vanish and be replaced by the King of the Great Dao. Among the three thousand Great Daos, and the Great Dao of the Universe, I am King. The leader of all, the King of Myriad Ancient Daos, the King of Kings. Incredible. Simply incredible. The appearance of the King of the Great Dao convinced the High Priestess that the King of God Mammoths was definitely far beyond her. He had truly stepped on the path to a Great Dao, placing him immeasurably close to the annulled level. Brother, 
your cultivation base is far beyond mine. Going forward, I'll follow you without question. I just hope you can help me get rid of that pesky proud heaven. Not a problem at all. Begin. As the King of God Mammoths pushed the King of the Great Dao to the limits of power, tapping into the depths of the multiverse, Yang Void Prime was screaming in the middle of the formation. As he did, he began melting into a clump of vital energy that resembled primal chaos. Then, the King of the Great Dao exercised control over the vital energy, causing it to swirl into the form of a single character, Fate. However, the Fate character was incomplete. After all, the other half was with Yang Qi. Of course, it was pure fateless energy. Yang Void Prime howled in defiance, but fighting back didn't do him any good. The Fate character then erupted with a gravitational force that stabbed out into the void to look for its other half. Hmm. Yang Qi suddenly sensed the power within him stirring. Despite his connection to his empire and its destiny, in the blink of an eye, he felt like he was about to fly away, as if something was pulling at him. There was no question that it would be very harmful. Someone's trying to summon the fateless power out from within me. A cold smile broke out on his face. Ever since he had reached the half an old level, he had been able to directly sense the fateless power within him. It was changing, becoming more closely fused with him, yet at the same time, he didn't understand its profundities. But now that the other half of the fateless power was reaching out to him, he had no choice but to act. Be crushed, he said, drawing deeply on his will. Chapter 1584, Yang Chi Makes a Move, Part 2 The power behind the summoning was immense, but Yang Qi cultivation base was in the half an old level. And he was no ordinary half an old expert, either. He had devoured the brain of the wretch god, pushing his psychic scale very close to the level of a trillion. He was the top figure in the god world, such that not even the king of god mammoths could deal with him. He had gained enlightenment of the most profound mysteries, and was also blessed by the destiny of an empire. There was literally no one who could best him. With a mere thought, he stabilized himself and made it impossible for the fateless energy to be extracted from him. Not only that, he tracked the summoning to its source. His divination gave him a view of the spell formation in the depths of the demon folk empire, with Yang Void Prime howling in the middle of it, completely at the mercy of the King of God Mammoths, Demon Master and High Priestess. Yang Chi instantly realized what was going on. I can't let them realize that I'm in the half an old level. With another thought, he caused a shadowy duplicate of himself to step out. It was touched by the Empire's destiny, as well as the aura of a fateless one. However, the projection was being held firmly in place by the destiny of the Empire. Yang Chi wouldn't gain any benefit by allowing his opponents to know he was in the half an old level. And the longer he held out before revealing it, the more destiny the Sage Monarch Empire would accumulate. The King of God Mammoths, High Priestess and Demon Master could sense what was happening. So. Yang Chi is fighting back, said the High Priestess. And it seems that he's getting close to gaining enlightenment of the half an old level. But he hasn't succeeded yet. If he thinks he can rely on the destiny of his empire to keep him safe, he's delusional. If he didn't have that destiny, he'd be dead already. The Sage Monarch Empire is strong, said the Demon Master. Just about everyone is a Sage or Mahatma. The citizens aren't selfish, and they practice cultivation for the sake of their empire. The stronger the empire is, the stronger the people are. There's a cycle of karma there. The empire is the source of faith, and those who show faith in the empire benefit greatly. This is definitely the most superior type of government there is. From ancient times until now in the god world, no one has ever done anything like this. Although the kings of order we created are just as good as his sage monarch magistrates, we demon folk are just too weak to perfectly compare to these humans. But given enough time, our demon folk is going to grow stronger and stronger. The king of god mammoths chuckled coldly. I refuse to believe that Yang Qi empire can surpass ours in strength. 
and if he thinks he can prevent us from taking his fateless energy, he's crazy. The king of god mammoths was drawing fully on the king of the great Dao, causing Yang Void Prime's pain to increase tenfold. He now existed in a hellish agony in which he wished he could simply die. The king of god mammoths had resided in hell for countless years, and knew all about pain. And his command of the strength of the hell-crushing god mammoth was obviously superior to Yang Qi. Thus, it was easy for him to ensure that Yang Void Prime felt immeasurable pain. Relish the pain, Yang Void Prime. Lose yourself and your will. Become my puppet. There's no reason to struggle. The King of God Mammoth's voice pounded at Yang Void Prime with terrifying viciousness. Despite being a half an old expert, Yang Void Prime was already on the verge of collapse. But then, a stream of will surreptitiously entered him and began speaking into his sea of consciousness. Yang Void Prime, it's me. Yang Chi. I can see that you're about to die. Do you have any last wishes? Because they were both fateless ones, it was possible for Yang Chi to communicate with Yang Void Prime in a way that the King of God Mammoths, Demon Master and High Priestess would never be able to detect. Yang Chi? You, you aren't being affected by this at all. To be contacted by Yang Chi was like a wake-up call to Yang Void Prime, and it caused his will to solidify. You're so vicious. Fine. I want you to kill the High Priestess, the King of God Mammoths, and the Demon Master. Although, you're going to have trouble resisting their power. You're right, Yang Void Prime. It's not going to be easy. But I'm in a better position than you. I have the backing of the destiny of an empire. They won't be able to deal with me. That said, you're in a really tragic situation. The way things are going, you're going to die, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yang Chi sent some of his psychic power into Yang Void Prime to ease his pain a bit. I can save you, Yang Void Prime. You're a half an old expert, which means your cultivation base surpasses mine. But with the destiny backing me, I'm actually much stronger than you. So what do you think? Want my help? Help me? How? It's simple. I'll keep pouring power into you, using my powerful destiny to make sure the King of God Mammoths doesn't have any idea what's happening. Then you use a self-destruction technique to blow yourself up. I'll take the fateless energy and add it to myself, and while you'll die there, I'll resurrect you in my empire. What do you think? Yang Void Prime burst out laughing. Nice plan, Yang Chi. You want me to kill myself to damage the spell formation so you can take my fateless power? You'll become a true fateless one, and I'll be dead. What kind of fool do you take me for? You're thinking about it wrong, Yang Void Prime. I will resurrect you. Perhaps I'm not a half an old expert, but I know many secrets of the half an old level. A lot of experts from the ancient era died, but have been resurrected. All you have to do is give me your soul essence, and I can make a new body for you. You'll be born again in my empire. Are you serious about this? Yang Void Prime said, starting to wonder if he should agree. For one thing, the King of God Mammoths was unleashing the most horrific pain on him, and even just the ability to stop that pain would probably be worth it for him. Yes, I'm serious, Yang Chi said. I want to help you. Think about it, Yang Void Prime. They're using you to try to get at me. But I can free you. As a half an old expert, you could be very useful to me in my empire. If we work together, we'll be unstoppable. We're both fateless ones, so it only makes sense for us to join forces. By the way, I'll tell you another secret, your girl Halen shacked up with Proud Heaven. She's the Empress of the Deathless Heaven Dynasty now. Did you know that? The moment you left, Proud Heaven turned you into a cuckold. It's all part of his plan to destroy the High Priestess and seize ultimate control. So even if you somehow got out of this situation and went back to the Deathless Heaven Dynasty, you'd still be dead. What? Yang Void Prime exclaimed in shock. How dare he? I refuse to believe this. Fool. 
just peer into my mind to see what's happening back in the Deathless Heaven Dynasty. Psychic Link, Fateless Connection All of a sudden, Yang Void Prime was given a view of the situation in the Deathless Heaven Dynasty. He saw Halen as the Empress, and could see Proud Heaven's power and influence growing. Damnation! You animal, Proud Heaven! I won't let you get away with this. I'll kill you. I'll slaughter you. Yang Void Prime was so enraged he wanted to rip Proud Heaven to shreds right then and there. The only option for you is to work with me. So do the self-detonation. You'll be reborn in my empire, exactly the same as before, except with a new body. And you'll still be a half an old expert. Together, we can be unparalleled under heaven. Deep in his heart, Yang Void Prime was thinking, you're going to copy my will and mind and put me into a new body. That just means you'll have access to all my experiences getting to the half an old level. You just want to use me to achieve another breakthrough. Well, don't blame me for taking advantage of this situation. I've gained a lot of enlightenment thanks to what the High Priestess and the others have done. And I already know a lot more about fateless power than you. When I self-detonate, my fateless power will enter you and become one. And in that moment, I'll be able to possess your physical husk. Then I'll wipe you out and become the only true fateless one. Chapter 1585, Hoodwinking Yang Void Prime Yang Chi knew full well that Yang Void Prime was a vicious schemer, and that as a half an old expert, he would take the first opportunity to try to possess Yang Chi. Sadly, Yang Void Prime was the one being played. He had no idea that Yang Chi was already a half an old expert, and was in fact the number one person in the god world. Not even the king of god mammoths knew how strong Yang Chi really was. After all, none of them could see inside the everlasting aegis to assess the sage monarch empire. Plus, Yang Chi was a fateless one, which made it impossible to divine information about him. And the fact that he had completely locked down his empire ensured that no rumors could spread. It would only be when Yang Void Prime actually tried to possess Yang Chi that he would realize how horribly wrong he'd been about everything, and that he had thrown himself from the tiger's den into the wolf pack's lair. In other words, he was being hoodwinked by Yang Chi. The truth was that even if Yang Chi hadn't suggested it, Yang Void Prime would have attempted a self detonation. Unfortunately, the King of God Mammoths was using his terrifying King of the Great Dao to completely suppress Yang Void Prime, which meant he couldn't self-detonate even if he wanted to. Therefore, it would require Yang Qi help. Yang Qi planned to use their fateless power connection to slowly give energy to Yang Void Prime, until he had enough to break free from the restrictions and go through with the self-detonation. The detonation of a half an old expert would release the most destructive power imaginable into the surrounding heaven and earth. Be summoned, the King of God Mammoths howled. King of the Great Dao, reverse reincarnation, shatter heaven and earth, let ghosts and gods appear. Immense flows of energy shot out of the King of God Mammoths, who was using a deadly technique called boundless shattering. Yang Chi instantly felt more power flowing away from him and the fateless energy within him seemed like it might fly out, which would weaken him dramatically, maybe even removing him from the half an old level. Do you really think it'll be that easy, he growled. Tapping into the destiny of his empire, he sent more streams of power into Yang Void Prime. Yang Void Prime, use the power I'm giving you to collect your memories and thoughts. Give them to me so that I can resurrect you in my empire. All right. Yang Void Prime said. But in his heart, he was chuckling in sinister fashion. You're only a peak paramount god, Yang Chi. A god lord. Even if your psychic scale was higher than it is, you couldn't possibly understand the profundities of the half an old level. You really think you can control me? I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to come out of nowhere to possess you, and there won't be anything you can do to stop me. Thanks to the help from Yang Chi, he actually felt much better, and wasn't really being harmed at all by the King of God Mammoths. Furthermore, reserves of power were building up inside of him, although no observer could tell. 
As he continued producing false screams of pain, he sent his thoughts and experiences to Yang Qi Empire via psychic fluctuation. Eventually, he caught sight of the body that Yang Qi had prepared for him, which looked like an exact copy of his real body. So, you weren't lying, Yang Qi. Yang Void Prime said. Siding with you was the right decision. We can wage war together, and I'll draw fully on the power of the half an old level to help you. Of course, inwardly, he was actually thinking, you really don't get how powerful the half an old level is. You think that you can just create a clone and put my will into it. Unfortunately, without the fateless energy to go along with it, I won't stay in the half an old level. And there's absolutely no way I'll agree to that. Instead, I'll use that clone to strike Yang Chi when he least expects it. Meanwhile, Yang Chi was also chuckling coldly. He had used a whole collection of pre-heaven treasures to make a new body for Yang Void Prime, who assumed that he didn't understand the half an old level. But the truth was that Yang Chi had prepared all of this in advance, and was in fact so powerful that, if he wanted to, he could actually damage the spell formation the King of God Mammoths was using. But thanks to the Life Death Void Destruction God Lightning, Yang Void Prime had no idea what was really going on, or that Yang Chi was already a half an old expert. Yang Chi twitched, creating a duplicate of himself. He had no idea how long the process would take. Maybe months, maybe years. In any case, he had other things he needed to do in the meantime. He left the clone in his place, with some fateless energy in it to keep the King of God Mammoths occupied. With the backing of his empire's destiny, the Halls of Heaven, and the sage monarch magistrates, it would be able to hold out. Master, he said, and the invincible Dugu appeared. Can you watch over this clone of mine? I need to take a trip to the Deathless Heaven dynasty to subjugate the Empress there, Halen. She wants to reach the half an old level, but doesn't quite have what it takes. I'm going to take advantage of the situation to see if I can work out a deal with her. No problem the invincible Dugu said. He was now fully recovered, which placed him in a position of being no weaker than the King of God Mammoths. I'll take care of everything here for you. Yang Chi nodded. You certainly live up to your reputation, Master. I definitely can't measure up to you. Don't be so modest, Yang Chi, the invincible Dugu said, laughing. I'd say that, even considering all of history as a whole, you're the top figure to ever have existed in the God world. Not even the Sovereign Lord can measure up to you. Even back in the impure lands, I could tell there was something special about you, which is why I selected you to rescue me. All right, be on your way. Subjugate that Halen woman. She seems to be an expert in causing trouble. Besides, the essence of the God world seems to be nearing the point of succeeding in taking human form. Once that happens, it'll crush anything and everything that gets in its way. What? The essence of the god world can take human form. Yang Chi frowned. That's right. And I can sense that it's about to succeed. The form it takes will be that of your mother. As I said before, the essence of the god world is your mother, and your mother is the essence of the god world. You're going to be in a very difficult position soon. That's why you need to take over the entire God world before it succeeds. Once you ensure that it has no formal representative, you can assimilate the God world. Take the great necropolis back from proud heaven, and use it to bury the God world. All right. I'm leaving. With that, he blurred into motion, leaving his empire. Before long, he had pierced through multiple universes to reach the spot where the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart was fusing with the Deathless Heaven Dynasty. Proud Heaven's Empire. Looking at it all, Yang Chi smiled. Ah, Proud Heaven. You're very impressive. You're actually fusing the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart with your empire's destiny. Your cultivation base is rising, and now that you're a half an old expert, not even I could sneak into your empire under normal circumstances. Sadly, you devoured King Immortal Slayer, who isn't actually dead. He just entered another state that you can't detect. 
And King Immortal Slayer also has some of my energy, which I can use to sneak into the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart without you realizing it. That's what you get for devouring King Immortal Slayer. King Immortal Slayer was a profound schemer. It was no wonder that he had been ambitious enough to contend with the Sovereign Lord in ancient times. In fact, it was entirely likely that he had realized the best way to deal with Proud Heaven was to let himself be devoured by him. Truth be told, it wasn't that King Immortal Slayer couldn't deal with Proud Heaven. It was the essence of the God World that was truly troublesome to him. And in the moment before he perished, he set everything up so that Yang Chi could sneak into the Deathless Heaven Empire. You underestimated King Immortal Slayer, Proud Heaven, Yang Chi thought. Of course, I did something similar with the Reg God. The difference is that I didn't underestimate the Reg God. Whoosh! With that, he flew into the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart. All of a sudden, a thought occurred to him. What if the Sovereign Lord had left a secret way to return to the Halls of Heaven? And what if the Sovereign Lord used that method to try getting into Yang Qi Empire? Thankfully, he had already made preparations to ensure that no such attempt would succeed. Chapter 1586, Viciously Crushing Halen King Immortal Slayer had left a back door open, allowing Yang Qi to sneak right into the Deathless Heaven Empire without anyone being the wiser. The truth was that if Proud Heaven hadn't integrated the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart into his empire's destiny, it would have been much more difficult for Yang Qi to sneak inside. His immense aura definitely would have provoked a reaction, one that Proud Heaven would almost certainly notice. But now, despite the fact that he had defenses that not even half an old experts could easily bypass, he had created a huge weakness for himself that not even he was aware of. After all, it had all been done by King Immortal Slayer, who was even beyond the level of the King of God Mammoths. The King of God Mammoths had never been able to free himself from the fetters put in place by the Sovereign Lord, whereas King Immortal Slayer had directly contended with him. After sneaking inside, Yang Chi didn't dare do anything other than observe the workings of the destiny around him. The population of the Empire was immense, and political affairs seemed to be in order. Of course, the reason for that wasn't because Proud Heaven had suddenly become skilled in governing, but rather because he had dispersed all of the interest groups, which inherently made the Empire stronger. It also had to do with the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart. There was more than one reason why Proud Heaven had integrated it into his destiny. The first was to provide stronger defenses, keeping out half an old enemies and the destruction they could bring with them. The second reason was to improve the political climate of the Empire. Because the chart was his, he could control everything inside it by mere thought alone. In other words, having it integrated into his Empire meant he would be able to constantly monitor everything. He would always be directly tied into the most fundamental circumstances of his Empire. If rancorous energy developed, he would know about, and able to deal with it. For instance, if the government officials in some location used their power to tyrannize the people, the rancorous energy would come to Proud Heaven's attention, and he could pacify that area. This could be considered an effective way to run a nation. In fact, in certain ancient civilizations, they had a name for this technique, the Son of Heaven's Horoscopy. With it, the Son of Heaven could stand in the Imperial Palace and gaze out over his lands looking for any rancorous energy that resulted from deficient government officials. However, there was a weakness with this type of government. It turned the emperor into an emergency response unit, going around putting out fires as they popped up. Yang Qi didn't need to use such an inefficient system, as he had his sage monarch magistrates. Furthermore, all of his citizens were sages and mahatmas, which meant that his empire was completely unified. Because of that, rancorous energy could never even develop there. From what he could see around him now, he knew that Proud Heaven's empire would only flourish for a few tens of thousands of years. Eventually, Proud Heaven would tire of managing things so directly, and the empire would get so big that he wouldn't be able to keep up even if he wanted to. Yang Qi method was much better. He had created a virtuous cycle in which the larger his empire got, the more sage monarch magistrates he could create. 
the increases in destiny kept up with his governing ability. As time went on, his empire would eventually surpass Proud Heaven's Deathless Heaven Empire. Not even the essence of the God World could help Proud Heaven stop that. Yang Chi could see the influence of the God World in the empire around him. It was producing all sorts of pre-heaven resources, which were being used to advance the interests of the empire. It was obvious that after a few tens of thousands of years passed, Proud Heaven would bring the fight to Yang Chi. The situation was delicate now. If the balance was disturbed, it would definitely lead to full-scale war. Where's Halen? She can't be with Proud Heaven. Now that he got what he wants, he's probably focusing on his own cultivation. And Halen is going to be off somewhere causing trouble of her own. Yang Chi began prowling through the empire, observing his surroundings and assessing the energy. Before long, he sensed two immense sources of energy. One was mighty, like a pillar that could prop up heaven and dominate everything in creation. The other was softer, but at the same time more sinister, the type that one would expect to belong to a second in command. Obviously, the former was Proud Heaven, and the latter was Halen. Proud Heaven was in the depths of his empire, working on his cultivation in unison with the essence of the God world. As for Halen, she was also in cultivation, trying to get into the half annulled level. Be revealed. Yang Qi will cause a shadowy projection to appear, depicting Halen in her palace, a vicious expression on her face as she gathered energy to herself. As her will trembled, she murmured, I'm going to make you pay, proud heaven. Yang Qi waved his hand, tapping into the imperceptible energy that King Immortal Slayer had left behind causing it to cover the palace and ensure that Proud Heaven's will wouldn't detect what was going on inside. He would simply assume that Halen was working on her cultivation. She took a deep breath, causing countless streams of energy to enter her, along with numerous pre-heaven medicinal ingredients. Resources were the key to everything. She wasn't like Yang Void Prime, who had so many advantages. And if stepping into the half an old level was such a simple task, wouldn't the world be filled with half an old experts? Even Yang Chi had only accomplished it by devouring the wretch god. Why, she thought. Why am I unable to reach the half an old level? I'm already the empress of the deathless heaven empire, which is the top empire in existence. I can tap into destiny that no one else can. Shouldn't that be enough to fuel a breakthrough? Don't tell me I'll have to take over as the ultimate leader of the Deathless Heaven Empire. No matter how Halen shifted the flows of power within her, she couldn't break through, and was starting to get angry. Her eyes glittered like those of a fox or wolf, making it seem like she was filled with sinister plots and killing intent. Maybe I need to find some help in dealing with Proud Heaven. But where exactly would she get such help? Her eyes flashed as she considered what vicious plans could be hatched. Maybe if I devour Yang Chi, I could achieve the breakthrough. Even as Halen was lost in thought, a voice suddenly rang out. What atrocities are you considering committing, Halen? You really want to take down Proud Heaven, don't you? Shocked, she rose to her feet and looked around her meditation chamber, only to find it completely empty. No one was inside with her. Who's there? she hissed. Keep your voice down, the voice said. Otherwise you might attract attention. You want to deal with proud heaven, right? Then why not work with me? All of a sudden, a shadowy figure appeared in front of her, which resolved into Yang Chi. Halen's expression immediately turned extremely sharp. So, it's you, Yang Chi. How did you get in here? Proud Heaven connected his empire's destiny with the Myriad World's Monarch chart, yet you still managed to get inside. Not even half an old experts should be able to do that. Why don't you take a guess how I got here? Yang Chi said with a smile. By the way, don't get any ideas. I wouldn't have come if I wasn't certain you couldn't do anything to me. And if you try, you'll lose your shot at dealing with Proud Heaven. Look. I just want to talk, that's all. From the glitter in her eyes, he could tell that she really wanted to lunge forward and devour him. I know what's going on, 
she said, a cold, calculating smile appearing on her face. You got in because of the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart, didn't you? Proud Heaven devoured King Immortal Slayer, but the latter isn't actually gone. And you have a clone, Yang Immortal Slayer, who's actually the apprentice of King Immortal Slayer. You were given something that lets you slip right past the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart. Am I right? I'm very impressed, Yang Chi said. And he really had to admire Halen's way of thinking. Of course, it only made him want to subjugate her even more, and turn her into a useful servant. You live up to your reputation as a profound schemer. Back in the impure lands, your will projection caused me some serious grief, and your true self seems to be even more impressive. You hit the nail on the head. Well, since you know the truth. Are you going to go report it to Proud Heaven? That depends on you, she said, her smile widening. You're Proud Heaven's archenemy, Yang Chi. And now I'm his empress. You tell me. Should I help you? Yang Chi laughed. Honest people do not resort to insinuation, Halen. I came here to offer you help in dealing with Proud Heaven. You hate him down to your guts, and I feel the same. So why shouldn't we work together? By the way, I already told Yang Void Prime about how Proud Heaven humiliated you. What? Yang Void Prime knows. Halen was clearly shocked, but she recovered her composure quickly. I should turn that moron into a puppet. I can't believe he went with the High Priestess to go talk to the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master. He's like a lamb in the tiger's den. How could things possibly turn out well for him? Halen was making a lot of good guesses, but that didn't mean she would ever guess Yang Chi was already in the half an old level. You don't seem surprised at all. I suppose you anticipated this. Yang Chi waved his hand dismissively. Let's get to the point here. Are we going to work together? I need an agent next to Proud Heaven, and if you agree to join me, I can help you reach the half an old level. What? Halen couldn't help but be moved. However, she chuckled coldly. That sounds completely and utterly preposterous. You're not even in the half an old level, so how could you possibly help me break through? Have you gone insane? Or am I the crazy one for even taking you seriously? Chapter 1587 Viciously Crushing Halen, Part 2 Yang Chi could sense that Halen still wanted to do something to him. However, she didn't touch the destiny of the Empire to notify Proud Heaven of his presence. Considering that she was the Empress, she could do that very easily if she wanted to. If Proud Heaven was alerted to his presence, he would need to flee immediately. And if Proud Heaven found out about the back door in the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart, he would definitely do everything possible to close it up. In fact, he might even uncover the truth about King Immortal Slayer. Because of that, Yang Chi had to be very careful in how he dealt with Halen. As such, he resorted to trickery. Well, Yang Chi? Did I get it all right? Halen chuckled coldly. Don't fool yourself. I know how wily and mischievous you are, and that you love fooling people. But you're crazy if you think that'll work on me. I'm not fooling you. If I help you reach the half an old level, then the two of us can accomplish a lot together. Yang Void Prime has already joined me. You see, he was tricked, and fell into a trap in which they tried to extract his fateless power. However, I helped him, so now he's on my side. If he dies, his fateless power will instantly be transferred to me, and I'll become a true fateless one. Oh. So that's your plan, Halen said, looking surprised. Although, that doesn't have anything to do with me. Yang Chi sighed. How can you say that? Yang Void Prime is still your man. Are you really willing to just watch him die? If he dies, he dies. So what? And Proud Heaven's going to die as well. You really don't care if Yang Void Prime dies. Yang Chi shook his head. What does his death have to do with me, she replied. I'm under proud heaven's control right now. 
and you're trying to con me as well. You've talked a lot here, but you still haven't explained how you're going to help me reach the half an old level. And if it involves me somehow trying to get Yang Void Prime's fateless energy for you, forget about it. My plan has nothing to do with fateless energy. Besides, that fateless energy wouldn't do any good for you. No, my plan involves something else entirely. That said, it'll take some work on your part as well. Yang Chi waved his hand, and a golden stream of light emerged, taking the form of an imp, pulsing with a most terrifying aura. What if I gave you this? What's that? Halen's eyes suddenly went wide. That's the God Legion seal. That's what fueled your growth helping you rise from the impure lands to the immortal worlds, then from there to the god world. That's how you founded your kingdom, and without it, you wouldn't be where you are right now. And you're just going to give it to me? You're obviously trying to pull some kind of trick. It's not a trick. At least not completely. The Sovereign Lord left this thing behind, and I'm convinced that he's still alive, out there hiding somewhere watching the god world and waiting for the right moment to return. And because the god legion seal is his, he'll definitely use it to track me down. Why do you think I've held back from reaching the half an old level? Did you really think it's because I'm unable to? It's because I've forsaken the god legion seal. I don't want it in me, because it'll make it possible for the sovereign lord to possess me. However, I don't mind giving it to you. You can assimilate it and push your cultivation base to the most boundless heights. What do you say? You can look at it if you want to. He tossed it toward her, and the golden imp became a streak of light that landed right on her palm. Halen drew on some of her deist techniques, causing an immense wave of power to wash over the god legion seal. As the empress, I command the will of the empire to cleanse this thing. Instantly, the destiny of the Empire converged on the God Legion seal, causing it to shine with dazzling light. Immediately, Halen could sense the grandeur of the Legion of Gods, and the immense might of the Sovereign Lord. A few hours passed, but nothing else happened. Halen hadn't yet assimilated it. Are you really giving me the God Legion seal, Yang Chi? It's not trapped or anything. Like I said, the God Legion seal is amazing and it helped me a lot, but in the end, it still puts me in danger because of the Sovereign Lord. And it will be dangerous for you as well. If you assimilate it, you have a 100% chance of reaching the half an old level. However, later on down the line, the Sovereign Lord will come for you. So you have to be very careful. And now I'll tell you something else, although Proud Heaven devoured King Immortal Slayer, he didn't get rid of him completely. And that was a big mistake. One day, when the essence of the god world isn't there to watch over Proud Heaven, King Immortal Slayer is going to make a comeback. Yang Chi was telling the truth. However, it was bait, or more precisely, a trap. Yang Chi had long since abandoned the god Legion seal, choosing to become stronger on his own merits instead. And he was just waiting to see if Halen would actually devour the seal. Based on all that, it seems you really are telling the truth, she said. Given how intelligent you are, I don't think you're the kind of person who would fall for tricks. What do you think? Take the poison, or not? It's up to you. Either way, I don't want it anymore. I don't want the karma. You can give it to someone else, or even just throw it away. I don't care. From now on, I don't want to have anything to do with the Sovereign Lord. Oh? Don't worry, I won't be giving this to anyone else. She laughed. I can accept karma like this, if that's what it takes to reach the half an old level. If Proud Heaven can devour King Immortal Slayer, then I can devour the Sovereign Lord, assuming he comes for me. By the way, what about the Halls of Heaven? Why not give them to me as well? I already gave them to someone else, Yang Chi replied coldly. Halen was obviously fishing for information, but he wasn't going to give it to her. As for who it is, you'll have to find out on your own. She chuckled coldly. 
You think I don't know who it is? It's obviously the invincible Dugu. Good guess, Yang Chi replied. You're right, I gave them to the invincible Dugu. The invincible dynasty is now linked with my sage monarch empire. I'm giving them the resources they need to solidify their empire and grow their destiny. I guessed that some time ago, she said with a sneer. Seems to me you're getting nervous. You can't reach the half an old level, so you're working with the invincible Dugu. Sadly, that's asking a tiger for its skin. Maybe he was your master in the impure lands, but personal relationships like that don't matter when you reach our level. You're plotting against him, aren't you? To him, the halls of heaven are poison, and even though he knows it, he can't help himself. Well played, Yang Chi. You're in such danger that you're grasping at whatever straws lay about. You're even going so far as to get rid of the halls of heaven and the god legion seal. What about the Mahatma Jade? Are you getting rid of that as well? Are you really going to rely solely on yourself to achieve your breakthroughs? I am. Once I free myself from everything else, I'll be strong on my own merits. And that means you have a chance to take the God Legion seal. Are you going to assimilate it or not? I am. Unlike you, I don't feel the need to give up on everything. And did you really think I'm scared of the Sovereign Lord? He's half an old, but not truly half an old. And I have a chance to reach the true half an old level. And what about the two of us working together against Proud Heaven, with the God Legion seal being my down payment? Down payment? All you're doing is giving me a catastrophe in the waiting. In any case, yes, I'll work with you. But first, I need to be in the half an old level. There's no time to waste. All right, I'll help you, Yang Chi said. No thanks. I'm not going to fall for your tricks. I'll assimilate the God Legion seal on my own, without any help from you. Watch. She waved her hand, and a stream of vital energy flew out. Out of body incarnation, soul of the ancestor god. All of a sudden, a mighty figure appeared behind her, which reached out and grabbed the god legion seal, instantly causing it to melt. The legendary soul of the ancestor god, he said, shocked. That's right. The soul of the ancestor god is the actual soul of the ancestor of all gods which existed before the god world came to be. The ancestor of all gods isn't a person, but rather a conglomeration of vital energy. Although it didn't exist at the ultimate beginning, after encountering certain almighty entities, that vital energy turned into a god. And this is the soul of the ancestor god. Halen threw her head back and laughed. I bet you never guessed this would happen, did you, Yang Chi? Chapter 1588, Viciously Crushing Halen, Part 3 Halen had revealed the soul of the ancestor god. It wasn't a person, but a conglomeration of pre-heaven vital energy that had been born out of primal chaos Big Bang explosions before the existence of the god world. According to the stories, it was the foundation of the gods, and contained the ultimate expression of godliness. The original ancient primal chaos hadn't contained any gods. However, the weak entities that had existed within it, upon making contact with the soul of the ancestor god, could instantly become gods. However, after enough time went by, and a certain number of gods were created, the soul of the ancestor god disappeared. Who could have ever guessed that Halen would track down what remained of it? It was something that could make the weakest of people into lesser gods. That made it like the key to the civilization of the gods, and incredibly important on a symbolic level. Furthermore, it could have a catalyzing effect on the god Legion seal. The seal contained the combined wisdom of the Legion of Gods, placed there by the Sovereign Lord. It was the quintessence of the civilization of the gods. And the soul of the ancestor god had allowed the Legion of Gods to come into existence. So if the god Legion seal touched it, it would release such an incredible force that the God Legion seal would become completely different from before. I bet you never dreamed this would happen, Halen sneered. I've been plotting for a long time to get your God Legion seal. In fact, 
I even sent that stream of wool down into the impure lands to get it. Apparently, some trouble cropped up, as the wool projection foolishly sided against you, and ended up getting killed. Well, she deserved it. You, why why you, Yang Chi stammered. I've been plotting all of this for a very long time. Of course, it all came down to the High Priestess recovering the soul of the Ancestor God. It disappeared for a long time, and no one thought it would ever be found again. In fact, the Sovereign Lord actually created the God Legion Seal in the hopes of finding it. But sadly for him, it was the High Priestess who succeeded. And that's how she broke free from the bounds of the God Legion Seal. Now, I can use the soul of the Ancestor God to push the God Legion Seal to a higher state than before, a state in which the Sovereign Lord won't be able to find it. You see, that's how I, Halen, do things. There's no way you could have known any of this, Yang Chi. Otherwise, you wouldn't have just freely handed the God Legion Seal to me. Instead, you would have struck quickly to subjugate or assimilate me. Sadly for you, I'm not so easily fooled. Starting to regret your choices yet? You see, the Sovereign Lord isn't going to do a thing to me. The High Priestess predicted a long time ago that you'd come for me, and she helped me set all of this up. Of course, not even the High Priestess could have guessed that, instead of having to track you down, you would walk right into my arms. No. Yang Chi said, staggering backward. Tremble in fear as I break through, Yang Chi. Rumble. She exhaled a stream of energy that locked down the entire area. You can't run away now, Yang Chi. I bet you thought you were going to subjugate me here, but in the end, the reverse is happening. And now, I'll use the soul of the Ancestor God on the God Legion Seal. Even as the words left her mouth, she produced a talisman and shoved it onto the God Legion Seal. However, when she did, something unimaginable happened. The God Legion Seal transformed into a magical symbol. W. Watt, what's going on? Halen said, her eyes widening in shock as the magical symbol entered her body and sealed her. At the same time, the soul of the Ancestor God popped out of her, completely unaffected. Did you really think I'd just give you the God Legion Seal, Halen, he said shaking his head. You made a huge mistake just now. You see, I'm still connected to the seal. In fact, it's more appropriate to say that I am the God Legion seal, and the God Legion seal is me. But what about the God Legion seal you gave me, she cried, struggling in vain to free herself. It was real. I could tell. There's no way it was a trick. That was a duplicate I created. By the way, I'm already in the half an old level. All of a sudden, he revealed his half an old energy. I was playing you this entire time. You see, I've made many copies of the God Legion seal, and given them out for my people to use. Although the copies aren't even close to being as powerful as the original, they still provide immense benefits. And I just used one of them to seal you. I had to do it this way to make sure the process didn't alert Proud Heaven. After all, if you got the Empire's destiny involved, it would have alerted him. Now, prepare to be crushed. You started out with Yang Void Prime, and then became Proud Heavens. But in the end, you're going to be mine. I guess it was just foreordained. Now, give me the soul of the Ancestor God. Stay away from me, Yang Chi. Stay away. To her terror. Halen realized that she was the one who had been fooled. She was actually dealing with a half an old expert, someone vastly beyond her ability to handle. And he had complete control of the God Legion seal. It was like a nightmare. Come. Soul of the Ancestor God. Yang Chi made a grasping motion, and the soul of the Ancestor God flew over into his hand. Be sealed. He instantly sealed it and threw it into the God Legion seal. He wasn't going to take the thing lightly, and would definitely study it later when he had the time. As usual, he would make detailed plans before taking any action. Upon seeing Yang Chi simply take the soul of the Ancestor God, Halen crumbled into despair. 
she had hoped that if he took it, he would try to assimilate it immediately, and some sort of dramatic things would occur, allowing her to escape. Sadly for her, Yang Chi wasn't the type to give in to temptations like that. Don't subjugate me, Yang Chi, she said. Don't use the God Legion seal on me. I don't want to become like the Walking Dead. How about I become your woman instead? I'll do anything you want me to, I swear. She forced a smile onto her face. I know that you always regretted losing me in the impure lands. But now you can have me all for your own. Yang Chi burst out laughing. Looking at Halen as if she were a complete moron, he said, Have you for my own? You're nothing but a pawn for me to use as I see fit. And you think I want you as my woman? Are you crazy? What? You don't want me. Halen seemed stunned. Scoffing, Yang Chi said, Enough chit chat. Get ready to be subjugated. Me using the God Legion seal on you won't turn you into the Walking Dead. But I will be able to monitor your thoughts. He reached out and clamped his fingers onto her head, then unleashed the power of the God Legion seal into her. Crick. Crack. All of a sudden, Halen's power level skyrocketed. But at the same time, her thinking came under Yang Qi control. After becoming a half an old expert, his understanding of the God Legion seal had reached even higher levels. As such, there was no way Halen could do anything to resist him. Dropping to her knees, she said, I kowtow in salute, my lord. It wasn't that she wanted to do that. Rather, her thoughts were telling her that she needed to. It nearly made her vomit blood. In her mind, she was telling herself that she wouldn't let Yang Chi get away with this, but he instantly detected those thoughts and destroyed them. All right, enough, Halen. Stop cursing me in your heart. I'm going to find a way to help you reach the half an old level. But let me tell you this, the process isn't going to be easy. Maybe seeking enlightenment of the soul of the ancestor god will do the trick. Only time will tell. For now, you stay here as my agent. Be ready to follow any instruction I give regarding how to deal with proud heaven. Whoosh. With that, he turned and vanished, leaving her sitting there alone. Why did this have to happen? How is Yang Chi so strong? I planned everything out perfectly. But I ended up seeming as foolish as a child. There's no way proud heaven can match up to him. He's already a half an old expert. Terrifying. No. I can't give in. I refuse to accept this. I have to fight back. However, even as she howled in rage, Yang Qi voice echoed in her sea of consciousness. Stop the temper tantrum, Halen. I can hear it all. Your only chance to escape is to become a member of my empire. None of my people have their thoughts monitored anymore. So follow orders and you'll be fine. Chapter 1589, Soul of the Ancestor God Who could have guessed that I would benefit so wildly? Not only did I subjugate Halen, but I also got the soul of the Ancestor God. I knew there was more to her than met the eye, but surprisingly, she had an incredibly powerful item, something not even the Sovereign Lord ever got his hands on. With it, the God Legion seal is really going to become something that can surpass the civilization of the gods. Yang Chi was back in his own empire, with proud heaven none the wiser. Settling down cross-legged, Yang Chi drew on the destiny of his empire and locked it down completely. Up above, the black and white sun rotated, and while it had transformed from its original state, Yang Chi knew it could still function as a back door for the Sovereign Lord. There were still some things about it that Yang Chi didn't understand, but that said, he wasn't overly anxious about it. Now that he had the soul of the Ancestor God, he would be able to remove all traces of the Sovereign Lord from his empire. It was the key to opening the door that led to that profound civilization that surpassed that of the gods. Yang Chi didn't immediately attempt to integrate the soul of the Ancestor God into the God Legion seal. Instead, he carefully extracted it still sealed, and began carefully studying it. At a certain point, 
he fed a bit of energy into it, causing it to pulse. Inside, he could see the beginnings of a grand civilization. He had never had the profundities of the gods laid out in front of him in this way. As he continued studying the soul, he saw the civilization of the gods developing in his mind's eye. History was playing out right in front of him. The elites of the past didn't really have any idea how to advance their civilization, but the soul of the ancestor god had opened the doors for them. Yang Chi felt like he was mentally floating along the river of history, which of course gave him a much more profound understanding of the god legion seal. And as the will of the legion of gods percolated in his mind, his thinking became more profound and clear, and he saw, not just the past paths with utmost clarity, but also the path going forward. Because he had devoured Wretch God Ultimate, his own will had occasionally been influenced by the Wretch God. But now, he sloughed off any such fetters, reaching a new acme of enlightenment. Now, I'll draw on the soul of the Ancestor God. Using the Wretched Brain God art, he performed countless mental calculations, which he used to analyze all of the historical information from the soul of the Ancestor God. At that point, he realized that the soul of the Ancestor God really did have a soul in it. Now, he was ready to integrate it into the God Legion Seal. As he did, he realized that he was creating the perfect trap for the Sovereign Lord. When the Sovereign Lord returned, and made his move on the God Legion Seal, he would meet a powerful backlash. It would be a perfect trump card for Yang Qi defense. Furthermore, the soul of the Ancestor God would have a profoundly positive effect on the God Legion Seal. After all, simply trying to assimilate the soul of the Ancestor God would be like killing the chicken to get the eggs. Slam! Something seemed to break inside the soul of the Ancestor God, and Yang Qi saw a huge door opening. In its depths were various types of godly civilizations, creating a sea of information that washed through his psyche, causing enormous transformations. He was experiencing a baptism in regard to the civilizations of the gods, as well as the Dao of gods. He suddenly understood everything about the Legion of Gods. Matters of civilization, will, transformation, cultivation base, worlds, nations. He knew about the quintessence of the god civilization, and he knew how to make something superior to it. There never really was a god civilization, Yang Chi said coolly. There was the soul of the ancestor god. It was what brought civilization. And previously, there was no way to surpass it. But I can. His psychic scale was continuing to grow, and was getting closer to reaching the level of a trillion. Even in ancient times, no one had ever reached the level of a trillion, not even the Sovereign Lord. As he gained further enlightenment of civilization, his sage monarch magistrates also transformed, with the God Legion seal on their foreheads becoming more distinct. And they experienced inner changes, such as their hearts transforming into projections of jade. That came from Yang Qi deeper and deeper enlightenment of the Mahatma Jade, enabling him to create copies of it, just like he could with the God Legion Seal. If people such as the King of God Mammoths could see him right now, they would only be able to use one word to describe him, freakish. Not only could he mass-produce God Legion Seals, but he could also do the same with the Mahatma Jade. As this process went on, Yang Qi Empire grew stronger. Crunch crack. As he grew stronger, the everlasting Aegis expanded, and was able to absorb primal chaos Palea energy more quickly and in greater quantity. And as that happened, Yang Chi could sense the essence of the god world trembling, as if in pain. It was similar to how if a person had a tick sucking their blood, they might not feel it. But if that tick transformed into a vampire bat, they would definitely find it unbearable. Rumble. All of a sudden, a faint tremor passed through the god world, something that most ordinary people wouldn't even feel. But Yang Chi knew that it meant the essence of the god world was reacting to the sudden growth of his empire. The sage monarch magistrates were experts at their work and would quickly disseminate the new knowledge that Yang Chi had gained, giving it to the common people and fueling more growth. Heaven and earth changed dramatically and constantly and that meant the sage monarch empire was constantly gaining new sages and mahatmas, 
whose thinking was profound and unparalleled under heaven. Yang Void Prime, the time has come to bring you to me. A smile appeared on his face. I'd originally hoped you'd end up blowing up. But I just made some significant progress, and I have no need to hide any longer. My empire is ready to bring about a new age. Yang Chi had been hiding in the shadows for too long. Now that he had taken the soul of the ancestor god from Halen, he had what he needed to take the next step. Although he wasn't any stronger than before, he had the key to civilization, and deep enlightenment of the god Legion Seal. He was just on the verge of a psychic scale of a trillion, and could now mass-produce copies of the Mahatma Jade. Having been bolstered by the copies of the Mahatma Jade and the god Legion Seal, his sage monarch magistrates were in an even better position to govern the empire and educate the masses. And that made his empire grow even stronger. The time was ripe to crush all obstacles blocking his forward progress. And the first step in it all was to summon Yang Void Prime. Only by getting the other half of the fateless energy he needed could he get his sage monarch magistrates to the level of god lords. Come to me. King of god mammoths, demon master, high priestess, you people are useless to me. Weak trash that needs to be gotten rid of. Yang Chi rose to his feet and surged with fateless energy, then unleashed a fist strike. Cracking sounds rang out as he pierced through the multiverse of the god world, sending an attack right into the middle of the demon folk empire. Chapter 1590, A New Age Begins Yang Qi fist strike revealed his domineering Dao. It could shake the nine heavens and ten earths, rock the legion of gods, horde of devils, multitude of Buddhas, host of immortals, and throngs of demons. It unleashed the power of a half an old expert, which could span all nations, all barriers and all types of power. Compared to it, the destiny of the demon folk empire was pitiful at best. It was none other than the nation fate Godfist. In the sage monarch empire, the destiny ensured that everyone was a sage or Mahatma. Everyone was selfless and worked hard to further the interests of the empire, which in turn cared for them, protecting them, and ensuring their prosperity. Yang Qi Fist Strike contained that will, the will of sages and Mahatmas, which gave it the power to pierce right to the altar he had been aiming for. What's this? The King of God Mammoths was the first to open his eyes, and when he saw what was happening, he immediately reacted with his King of the Great Dao. Great Dao Reversal, King of Dao Kings, Invincible in Three Worlds, existing for all time. Rumble. He met Yang Qi Fist with a fist of his own, one that was superior in the three realms, the ultimate type of power in the many heavens. It caused the entire demon folk empire to tremble as he unleashed it. However, when the fists collided, the king of god mammoths was sent flying backward, completely incapable of matching up to Yang Qi's strength. Henceforth, he would never again be considered number one in the three realms, the ultimate representation of power and strength. Stop him, he howled, hoping that the demon master and high priestess would interfere. The demon master's eyes flashed with fury. He was also an apex entity from ancient times, and when he attacked, it was with both elegance and intensity. Demon Teji A Teji symbol appeared on his hand, but instead of being black and white, it was pure green, like ghost fire that could block any and all power. The demon Teji was the great Dao that the demon master had gained enlightenment of. Rumble. Yin and Yang converged as the demon Teji absorbed demon energy from the area and used it to block the path of Yang Qi Nation Fate God Fist. However, after blasting aside the king of god mammoths, Yang Qi attack apparently hadn't lost any momentum. It slammed into the demon Teji, which immediately crumbled. Next, the high priestess threw her arms out as if in sacrifice to the heaven on high. God Fist of Prayer A huge fist appeared to block Yang Qi. However, having knocked the demon master out of the way, Yang Qi fist slammed right into the high priestess. Then, Yang Qi could be seen standing right there in front of Yang Void Prime, where he reached out and made a grasping gesture. A myriad worlds shook violently and countless people saw an enormous hand appear in the sky of the demon folk empire. Instantly, 
the entire empire started crumbling, and its destiny fell apart. Even the surrounding god world was shaking. Crack! The king of god mammoths, demon master, and high priestess were completely helpless to do anything in the face of this enormous hand, other than back away in fear. A vortex appeared, swirling out with such ferocity that anyone who saw it would think that doomsday had arrived as it sucked in everything around it. Yang Void Prime was snatched up and whisked away to the Sage Monarch Empire. Then everything grew calm and quiet. The demon folk that remained scattered, instantly returning to their previous chaotic state. Everyone knew that Yang Chi was on the move. His empire had been locked down up to this point, and it was now obvious that he had simply been biding his time. And while many people had assumed he was hiding because he wasn't in the half an old level, as of this moment, they realized that he was obviously the top figure in the god world. The king of god mammoths, demon master, and high priestess all working together hadn't been able to stop him. Just how invincible was he, exactly? Not even the sovereign lord had been this terrifying. Word spread like wildfire. Preposterous. Outrageous. When the king of god mammoths, demon master, and high priestess saw their empty altar, their faces burned with fury. They wanted to see Yang Chi dead right then and there, but they knew they didn't have any way to make it happen. As they looked over at the Sage Monarch Empire, they saw incomparable energy surging, and destiny that resembled dragons, plundering primal chaos with abandon. How could they possibly launch an attack against something like that? If they did, the backlash from its destiny alone would be far more than they could deal with. We have to attack the Sage Monarch Empire, the King of God Mammoths shouted angrily. However, the Demon Master reached out to block his path. We can't. Based on that brief clash with Yang Chi just now, I can tell that he's in the half an old level. And he might have broken through a lot earlier than we realized. So we just let him take Yang Void Prime? What if he combines the two halves of fateless energy? How will we survive? the High Priestess exclaimed. We have no choice but to attack immediately, the King of God Mammoths said impatiently. If we wait any longer, it's going to be a waste of our resources. We can lead our army of demon folk there right now, and batter him with endless waves. He'll be forced to pay a huge price to defend himself, and in the meantime, we can launch Operation Demon Destruction. Operation Demon Destruction, the Demon Master said shivering. You really want to go through with that? But what about Proud Heaven? Operation Demon Destruction was a deadly plan that, once initiated, left no other options, and could easily end in mutual destruction. If Yang Chi gets all of the fateless energy, and turns into a true, complete fateless one, we won't survive. We have to take action. We have to enact Operation Demon Destruction. Look, Something's happening, the High Priestess cried. They looked over and saw the void trembling violently, with clouds roiling everywhere, and streams of power ripping back and forth. The Invincible Dynasty was on the move. It rumbled in the direction of the Sage Monarch Empire, moving like the tide. Then the two combined. At the same time, the voice of the Invincible Dugu echoed out to fill the multiverse. I, the Invincible Dugu, have awoken. The Invincible Dynasty is becoming part of the Sage Monarch Empire. Emperor Yang Chi is now our leader. We are one united empire. Countless old timers were shocked to the core. Yang Chi had just put on a massive display of strength and power, then the Invincible Dugu announced that his dynasty was joining the Sage Monarch Empire. The result would be something of immeasurable power. Not even proud heaven, who had the support of the essence of the god world, could possibly be Yang Qi match. Someone similar to the old sovereign lord had appeared, and all of creation was being shaken as a result. As the invincible dynasty joined the sage monarch empire, all of the previous seals were undone, allowing everyone to see its true destiny on display. The sage monarch empire was filled with sages and mahatmas, and those people provided the backbone of the empire with their thinking, discussions, wisdom, intelligence, and invincible, domineering nature. 
The people were like the legion of gods that supported the halls of heaven and provided the power to crush the horde of devils in hell. They were sages. They were monarchs. And their spirit was different than that of the people of the god world. The ascendants in the empire were rising to the greatest heights, and Yang Chi was finally allowing the public to see the truth. The essence of the god world wasn't true and orthodox. Neither was the god world itself. The sage monarch world was true and orthodox. My sage monarch world will replace the god world, Yang Chi said in a loud voice that echoed everywhere. My people rose from the impure lands to the immortal worlds, and from there, they ascended to the god world. In the future, people from the god world will rise to the sage monarch world. For countless years, people thought that the god world was the ultimate destination. They were wrong. The sage monarch world exists above it. This was Yang Qi's great plan, and he was making it happen. He had already surpassed the sovereign lord. To rise from the half annulled to the full annulled level, he had to surpass civilizations. He had to make a world that was greater than the civilization of the gods. The sage monarch world was that world. The king of god mammoths, demon master and high priestess wanted to carry out Operation Demon Destruction to attack the sage monarch empire. But now they realized it was pointless. Attacking the sage monarch empire would be pure suicide. Chapter 1591, Complete Fateless One Yang Chi had taken the initiative, attacking the demon folk empire and snatching up Yang Void Prime. Then he combined the Sage Monarch Empire with the Invincible Dynasty, thereby creating a new world populated entirely by sages and Mahatmas. Not only that, the new world had two half an old experts protecting it. No one could possibly crush his empire now. Now there was no need to keep the place sealed up and hidden from the eyes of the public. He had opened up, and all heaven and earth now trembled in the face of his empire. His empire held a long sword in its hand, ready to slash apart the sky. His empire wore iron boots, ready to trample all the lands. His empire was a warship, ready to sail and conquer all the oceans. Where Yang Qi empire existed, no one could block his path. It was his empire, a place devoted to the people, a place that surpassed the ordinary, a place in which the populace caused destiny to surge. And what an existence could possibly stop his empire from continuing to grow? Even the king of god mammoths had to back down from his empire, and didn't dare even think about trying to attack it. And if they tried getting inside to attack Yang Qi, they would die. It didn't matter that they were considered invincible in the world. Their billions of years of experience, and the power they had accumulated during that time, were now laughable. Not even their Operation Demon Destruction would do any good at this point. How could this be happening? How could his empire have developed to this level? The King of God Mammoths felt powerless and bereft of valor. He could easily face hordes of devils and the boundless armies of hell. But facing Yang Qi Empire, he felt absolutely no confidence. And he knew that he wasn't a match for Yang Qi, either. If he fought him alone, he would be crushed. That wasn't even to mention the empire that backed him. He couldn't even have fought the sovereign lord's empire, let alone this one. We have to mobilize the demon folk empire, the demon master shouted. We can't wait any longer. That brat is gaining momentum, and we can't let it continue. If we don't act, Yang Void Prime is going to die, and we won't have any hope at all. The essence of the god world is furious, even more so than it ever was in the era of the Sovereign Lord. It's definitely going to take action against him soon. We have to summon the demon folk and get them moving. And what's going on with Proud Heaven's Empire? Is he going to do anything, the High Priestess said. Looking in the direction of Proud Heaven's Empire, her jaw dropped. Damn it. Damn it. Proud Heaven you piece of shit. I can't believe you are doing that. Only now did she realize what had played out in the Deathless Heaven Empire. She had no place there anymore, and couldn't touch its destiny. Her palace there had been completely removed. The Empire had been united, and was rapidly developing, without anything holding it back. 
and it was so strong it could kill her instantly. What happened, High Priestess? the demon master asked. Proud heaven took away all of my destiny, she said through gritted teeth. I'm all alone now. He even subjugated my apprentice. He's founded a unified empire that we can't resist. And the essence of the god world has provided him with endless resources. His resources even surpass the sage monarch empire. He has the support of the entire god world. We're no match for him. The god world itself was still the ultimate entity. It had been like that in the time of the Sovereign Lord as well, which was why he had never been able to truly defy it. And although Yang Qi Empire had transcended the god world, enabling him to head toward the annulled level with all his people, it still couldn't directly fight the essence of the god world. And in terms of the resources it could create, it also couldn't compete. The god world was still constantly expanding and because of that process, it was creating pre-heaven treasures non-stop. In the past, the resources had been evenly distributed throughout the multiverse inside the god world. But now, all of the resources were going to proud heaven's empire. The god world was also producing pre-heaven souls to add to the deathless heaven dynasty's aegis, ensuring that it was a place of peace. Fighting within empires generally had to do with lack of resources. But when resources were abundant, there wasn't any need for competition. Thus, Proud Heaven's empire was peaceful and harmonious, and its destiny climbed constantly. We can still use the demon folk to carry out Operation Demon Destruction, the King of God Mammoth said. Without a secret weapon, they won't dare move against us, lest we all end in mutual destruction. With Operation Demon Destruction, we can unleash the most destructive force in existence. Fine. Let's do it. The three half an old experts drew on powerful divine abilities to draw the scattered demon folk back together. Something similar was playing out in Proud Heaven's empire. Obviously, the old timers there were able to see the sage monarch empire combining with the invincible dynasty. Call an assembly. Call an assembly. Countless voices rang out as if war were about to break out at any moment. The leaders of the empire converged on the central god palace. Proud heaven was there, and his mysterious aura and surging destiny were such that no one even dared to look at him directly for fear of being burned out of existence. His cultivation base was truly enigmatic and impossible to assess. As the old timers filed in, he looked over at his empress, Halen. Her cultivation base had advanced significantly, Yet he wasn't worried, as he knew she couldn't possibly reach the half an old level. Your Majesty, said the Patriarch of the Universe, dropping to his knees. Yang Chi finally made a move. He's been hiding his true strength all along and is already in the half an old level. Furthermore, the invincible Dugu awakened and joined the Sage Monarch Empire, bringing his entire dynasty with him. Of course, we didn't dare make any decisions about what to do. We need your input, your majesty. The patriarch of the universe was someone the sovereign lord had sentenced to death. In other words, the sovereign lord hadn't actually been able to kill him. Yet here he was, kneeling in front of proud heaven. That just went to show that proud heaven had already surpassed the sovereign lord. Of course, what the patriarch of the universe was really kneeling to wasn't proud heaven, but rather the essence of the god world. The reason he and all the others the Sovereign Lord had sentenced to death were able to flee with their lives was because the essence of the God world had supported them. I know about all of that. Yang Chi is the greatest enemy of the essence of the God world. And the God world will do something about it soon. For now, do everything necessary to resist him. In the meantime, I'll bring the full glory of the essence of the God world with me to go visit the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master. I'll get them to join my empire, then together, we can go destroy Yang Chi. The God World has arranged all of this, and as its representative, I'm fully on board with everything. That Yang Chi has to die, Halen said. Unfortunately, when he attacked the King of God Mammoths, he kidnapped Yang Void Prime. If he combines the two halves of fateless energy, he's going to be difficult to deal with. Don't worry. 
the essence of the God world has planned for that outcome, and will give me extra power to deal with it. I'm literally invincible in the God world, no matter where I go. Proud Heaven looked closely at Halen in the hopes of getting a better idea of what she was thinking. Halen, you'll be in charge of everything here while I go to see the King of God Mammoths. Got it. I don't think I can accept such a weighty responsibility, she said. You'll do fine. The officials of the Empire are loyal to me. I represent the essence of the God world, which means no one in the God world will dare to attack me. Not even Yang Chi can do so. He's already being rejected by the God world itself, placing him under severe restrictions. I'm going to subjugate the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master. And even that pesky High Priestess. Then I can deal with Yang Chi. The power of the Demon Folk will come in very handy. In that case, I'll await your triumphant return, Your Majesty. Good, proud heaven. Smiling viciously, he continued, You'd better bear me a son soon, Halen. I need an heir to inherit my rule after I transcend. With that, he vanished without a trace. Halen could sense life force stirring within her, something that resembled proud heaven's aura. It was the result of her humiliation by him, and there was nothing she could do about it. She was completely under proud heaven's control. She couldn't do anything to get rid of the child. However, that was when Yang Qi voice echoed in her sea of consciousness. Proud Heaven left some life force quintessence in you. Once you give birth, he'll kill you. But we can beat him at his own game. I can add some of my life force to you, which will cause that child to dramatically transform. What's your plan? She replied. Proud Heaven is gone so I'm in charge of the Empire now. What do you want me to do? There's no plan for now. Proud Heaven's Empire is too stable to overthrow. And I haven't yet reached my peak. Once I have, I can crush everything in my path. Halen suddenly sensed a life force enter her and head to her belly, where a wriggling lump of flesh and blood already existed. It was Proud Heaven's child. However, it was now changing. Would it become Yankee Child? Or would it become something else? Chapter 1592, Complete Fateless One, Part 2 Yang Chi had inserted something into the life force seed Proud Heaven had placed in Halen. As for what it would turn into, only time would tell. But it would definitely be a tool to use against Proud Heaven. Although Proud Heaven was currently backed by the essence of the God world, there was far more to him than that. He had the great necropolis, which he could use at any time to combat the will of the god world. Perhaps he could even use it to devour the god world. Yang Chi was under no illusions. He knew how incredibly ambitious proud heaven was. He might as well have been a fiend devil who would devour anyone he needed in order to accomplish his goals. Working with him didn't make any sense, as those who worked with him always ended up as corpses and no one had ever been able to avoid being devoured by him. Thus, Yang Chi was using Halen as a pawn against him. As far as Proud Heaven leaving her in charge of his empire was concerned, the truth was that she didn't have any actual control. Any orders she issued had to be approved by Proud Heaven's will, and if she opposed him, she would die. The empire as a whole wouldn't follow her personal orders. She was essentially there as an administrator. When Proud Heaven left to meet the King of God Mammoths and the others, Yang Chi smiled in the knowledge that the time had come to truly oppose Proud Heaven. Yang Void Prime was captive in the middle of the Sage Monarch Empire, suspended in the air such that he resembled the character. Now that Yang Chi had combined with the Invincible Dynasty, the destiny at his command was immense. It didn't matter that Yang Void Prime was in the half an old level now, he still couldn't fight back. Is there anything you'd like to say, Yang Void Prime? Yang Chi asked. I bet you never thought you'd end up in such a tragic position. None of your plans worked. In the same moment you reached the half an old level, you were trapped. And even as the two of us reached an agreement, you were plotting against me. But you had no idea how strong my energy arts were. 
I broke right into the demon folk empire and grabbed you for myself. You kept your true strength hidden well, Yang Chi. You really fooled me. Yang Void Prime knew that it wouldn't matter what he said now. As the saying went, the winner is deemed righteous, and the loser is always in the wrong. Right now, there was no way Yang Chi would free him. I didn't fool you. You fooled yourself, thanks to your greed. You never even got to experience what it's like to truly be a half an old expert. AI. Yang Chi shook his head. It's really tragic. However, I need your fateless energy to become a full fateless one. Then let me go. Yang Void Prime said, his face lighting up. I'll be loyal to you. Even if I lose my fateless energy, I'll still be a powerful asset. Maybe I won't be a half an old expert anymore, but I can cultivate my way back to that level eventually. My wisdom and experience will come in very handy, and I'll work for you faithfully. Sorry, not interested, Yang Chi said, waving his hand dismissively. There was no way he would believe anything Yang Void Prime said. Taking his fateless energy would reduce him to the level of a god lord, but his psychic scale would remain the same, roughly 300 billion. And that would make him superior to all other god lords in existence. In other words, both his physical body and the experiences in his mind were top notch. In many ways, he was almost exactly the same as Yang Chi. Yang Immortal Slayer, Yang Chi said suddenly. Here, Yang Immortal Slayer replied stepping out of nowhere. His psychic scale made him the strongest of the god lords, which made sense considering how many pre-heaven treasures, vital energies, and national destinies he had devoured over the years. As soon as Yang Void Prime saw Yang Immortal Slayer, he knew what was coming, and a mournful expression appeared on his face. How sinister of you, Yang Chi! You're going to take my fateless energy, and you're going to have this Yang Immortal Slayer take my physical body, to help him reach the half an old level. Considering you and I are perfectly compatible, it'll work without a hitch. How vicious! Why? Why did I have to end in such tragedy? No one has ever experienced misfortune of this level. I reached the half an old level, the peak of the god world, only to end up like this. I was supposed to be the main character of this generation. Stop whining, Yang Void Prime. You shook the god world for years, and enjoyed life to the fullest. It's not so bad an end to die like this. All right. It's time for you to meet your end. Rumble. Yang Chi reached out and clamped his hand down on the top of Yang Void Prime's head. Instantly, numerous streams of energy flowed from Yang Void Prime into Yang Chi like a river of fate. Nothing changed within Yang Chi as it happened. His face was expressionless as he watched the innumerable people from a chilio cosm of worlds, their fates clear for him to see. He was like a bird gliding gently over the river of fate. What is fate? I am fate. A fateless one is fate. Such were Yang Qi thoughts. As the fateless energy suffused him, his status as a fateless one grew whole. And as he was blessed, the annulled level reached out, beckoning toward him. Never had he experienced anything like this, in which he had such deep enlightenment of the terror of fate, and the majesty of the annulled level. Only by being annulled could one truly be free from the fetters of fate, and become invincible. When the fateless energy left Yang Void Prime, he sagged limply as he fell to the God Lord level. That said, he still pulsed with such immense power that he could easily kill the Patriarch of the Universe and the others that had been sentenced to death by the Sovereign Lord. In fact, ordinary half an old experts might not even be able to take him on. Your turn, Yang Immortal Slayer. Use the Dao of King Heaven Devourer to devour him. He waved his hand, causing invincible power to flow into Yang Immortal Slayer. Yang Qi cultivation was rising as he combined the fateless energies. Suddenly. Crack. His psychic scale broke through the gap to reach a trillion. In all likelihood, he was now the strongest god to ever have existed throughout all of history. Not even the Sovereign Lord had reached this level. And just as how immortals changed fundamentally upon becoming gods, 
he was experiencing dramatic transformations. Meanwhile, Yang Immortal Slayer transformed into a primal chaos elder snake and lunged toward Yang Void Prime, who could do nothing but struggle in vain as he was devoured. Flop. Afterward, Yang Immortal Slayer returned to human form, then threw his head back and held, embrace vitality to unify, complete and utter confinement, sever the four gates, seal the six senses. Yang Chi waved his hand, causing the God Legion Seal and the Mahatma Jade to appear on his palm. Then, they flew out as two dazzling beams of light that shot into Yang Void Prime to help him fully assimilate Yang Void Prime. Blessing of Destiny Yang Chi said. I hereby ordain Yang Immortal Slayer as Grand Prince, and task him with protecting the Empire. Slam! A massive stream of destiny descended, coursing into Yang Immortal Slayer, who again transformed as he thoroughly assimilated Yang Void Prime. Instantly, Yang Void Prime's experiences, knowledge and enlightenment became part of Yang Immortal Slayer. Normally speaking, a process like this would come with dangerous side effects. But Yang Immortal Slayer didn't need to worry about that. He was a clone of Yang Qi, and both Yang Qi and Yang Void Prime were fateless ones. Their energies were similar, and for all intents and purposes, they were the same expression of vital energy. Time for a complete transformation with fateless power. As a fateless one, I hereby summon the King of Fate. Instantly, a figure appeared behind him, clad in white surrounded by a swirling river of fate that could pierce through the universe. This was his out-of-body incarnation. The king of god mammoths had the king of the great Dao, but Yang Chi had the king of fate. Within him swirled countless streams of fate, that of all living beings, which he controlled, making him invincible and ultimately powerful. It was a second version of Yang Chi, or perhaps the ultimate version of him. After all, his godhood had vanished upon reaching the half an old level. Time to step into the half an old level, Yang Immortal Slayer. Yang Chi sent the King of Fate piercing into Yang Immortal Slayer, who shot to his feet in response. Chapter 1593, Increased Prestige Yang Immortal Slayer had finally reached the half an old level. By devouring Yang Void Prime, being blessed by the destiny of Yang Qi Empire, receiving the aid of the combined might of the God Legion Seal and the Mahatma Jade, and being given enlightenment of the King of Fate, he finally achieved the breakthrough. Strange chanting filled the lands, and beautiful magical symbols swirled everywhere, filling the many heavens. In numerous locations in the God world, experts suddenly sensed the aura of someone becoming half an old. And it came from the Sage Monarch Empire. Countless old-timers were shaken by this development. The Sage Monarch Empire was already considered invincible with two half an old experts, namely Yang Qi and the invincible Dugu. But now they had another? Didn't that mean they would be completely unbeatable? And the influx of destiny caused by the breakthrough would make the hearts of the people even more stable. Everyone in the Sage Monarch Empire could tell that they had three half an old experts to protect them. They were definitely the top force within creation. The Demon Folk Empire had two half an old experts, the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Folk Empire. In the Deathless Heaven Dynasty, there was Proud Heaven and the High Priestess. For a time, there had been a balance between the three major forces. But now Yang Qi had seized the upper hand, and as a result, more experts were experiencing breakthroughs, and his destiny was growing again. News was spreading throughout the multiverse of the God World that the Sage Monarch World was a powerful organization, which caused many people to want to join them. That said, the Sage Monarch World wasn't recruiting. And even when it did recruit, they had a very tough application process. They only wanted truly elite experts. The people of the Sage Monarch World were similar to those immortals from the immortal worlds who would only select the best of the best from the impure lands to become apprentices. The people of the Sage Monarch World had already developed a lofty attitude and believed themselves to be above the God World. It was only natural. All of them wanted to fight to help the Sage Monarch World transcend. It was similar to how, in the impure lands, planetary systems would want to become immortal worlds. Thankfully, 
Yang Immortal Slayer's rise to the half an old level had provided a big boost in destiny. Citizens of the Empire, Yang Qi said. We finally have three half an old experts. Next, we'll all enter a huge session of cultivation. I want everyone to become as strong as possible. Before long, we'll wage war on the god world, and conquer it. Everyone excitedly began their sessions of cultivation. All of them were very confident that their empire was the most unique to ever exist, it would definitely conquer all, and slaughter all fiend devils. As for Yang Qi, he focused his deist techniques on searching for clues about the true devil and the sovereign lord. It was now very clear who the top powers in the god world were. The half an old experts were Yang Qi, the invincible Dugu, Yang Immortal Slayer, Proud Heaven, the High Priestess, the King of God Mammoths, and the Demon Master. Seven people. It would be difficult for anyone else to reach the half an old level. Not even Yang Chilio Kazam could do it by himself. Little did he know that Yang Chi had a plan to win him over to his own camp. His plans were unfolding one after another, and once he had fully realized all of them, the Deathless Heaven Dynasty would collapse. And much of it came down to the back door that King Immortal Slayer had left for him. Even if the King of God Mammoths, High Priestess, Proud Heaven, and Demon Master joined forces, he would still be able to slip into the Deathless Heaven Dynasty. The only downside was that the essence of the God World was involved. Furthermore, the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil were still in hiding. That much he was sure of, considering their auras were still detectable. They might jump out from the shadows at any moment to unleash a deadly blow. For all he knew, they might even be hiding among his own citizens. Given how powerful they were, it was entirely possible they could hide from him. And it was compounded by the fact that his entire foundation was built on the God Legion Seal and the Mahatma Jade. Another downside to consider was that Yang Chi would have a disadvantage if he fought in open battle. The God World had already rejected his empire, and if his people tried to go about in it, they would be targeted and rejected. The God World wasn't a good place for the Sage Monarch Empire to fight, the battlefield had to be in primal chaos. That was one reason why Yang Chi wanted to further his research of the God Legion Seal and the Mahatma Jade so that all citizens of his empire could have duplicates that would let them travel freely in the god world, if it became necessary. His world continued expanding. Countless old-timers in the god world would look up to it as if it were a moon at night or a sun during the day. The night sky of the god world was completely dark, with no stars or moon. But now, Yang Qi Empire was there, casting light down. Of course, they could also sense how unstable the god world was, and it made them want to join Yang Qi. The prestige of the sage monarch world only continued to grow. By this time, Proud Heaven had reached the Demon Folk Empire. Demonic whines screamed through the Demon Folk Empire as countless Demon Folk prayed. Of course, they had been forced to do so by the King of God Mammoths and the Demon Folk Empire. They weren't praying to found an empire. Instead, the various demon tribes were praying as a curse. And as the curse power converged on an altar in the middle of the empire, it became something that even half an old experts would find absolutely terrifying. In Yang Qi Empire, people prayed for destiny and glory. But here in the demon folk empire, they were creating a curse that would lead to fiery destruction. In other words, the demon folk were all praying for the end of the world. This was curse power not destiny. And it was an aspect of Operation Demon Destruction. The Baleful Will would become a tool of attack designed to kill. When Proud Heaven arrived and saw what was going on, his expression flickered. However, he quickly raised his voice and said, King of God Mammoths. Demon Master. High Priestess. I trust you've been well since we last met. Proud Heaven. It's you. The High Priestess rose to her feet with a furious smile as she prepared to directly attack Proud Heaven. However, the King of God Mammoths waved his sleeve, blocking her way. We've never met, boy. So what's that supposed to mean? There's no need to be so arrogant, King of God Mammoths, Proud Heaven said with a smile. That last part was meant for the High Priestess. 
Turning to her, he continued, High Priestess, you're the imperial preceptor of the Deathless Heaven dynasty. So why exactly are you siding with these people? Are you really interested in committing treason? I'm going to kill you sooner or later, proud heaven, the High Priestess said angrily. So cut the crap. Are you just sitting around waiting for Yang Chi to crush you? I can't believe you stole my apprentice and besmirched her honor. You bastard. You completely removed any trace of me from your empire. Did you really think I wouldn't pay you back for that? It's not as though you had good intentions, High Priestess. It just so happens that I came out on top instead of you. The winner is deemed righteous, and the loser is always in the wrong. I'm sure you've heard that saying before. I'm actually here to recruit the lot of you. Recruit us, the King of God Mammoth said, then laughed. Do you know who you're talking to, boy? You think you're going to do that all alone? Who do you think you are, the Sovereign Lord? It's actually not me who wants to recruit you, Proud Heaven didn't seem to have even noticed the King of God Mammoth's sarcasm. It's the essence of the God world that wants you. And that essence is so much more powerful than the Sovereign Lord that you can't even begin to imagine it. Seeing the reaction to his words on the faces of the three experts seemed to please Proud Heaven even further. You see, the essence of the God world is completely enraged because of Yang Chi and his sage monarch world. Anyone from there who comes to the God world will immediately be attacked. It's only a matter of time until Yang Chi is crushed. It won't be long before the essence of the God world can take human form, whereupon it'll come to fight Yang Chi personally. What, the King of God Mammoth said. The essence of the God world is going to take human form and come here? That's impossible. The essence is so mighty that even thousands of years pass with the speed of a single thought for it. It simply can't take human form. I won't go into the details, Proud Heaven said. I just hope that when the essence of the God world does, you'll be standing by my side to fight Yang Chi. If you aren't, then you're going to have a hard time escaping with your lives. After all, that will indicate you're siding with the enemy, and need to be purged. Proud Heaven's words pulsed with killing intent. Chapter 1594, Essence in Human Form Shocking news had just been revealed to the King of God Mammoths, Demon Master, and High Priestess. The essence of the God world was going to take human form. They weren't even sure how to react. The God world wasn't a person. It was more like an animal, except its true existence was something that people couldn't truly comprehend. After all, it could take anywhere from hundreds to tens of thousands of years for it to form a single thought. There was no way to change that. The God world was so large it defied imagination. It was like a combination of innumerable half and old experts. Everything it did happened slowly. It wasn't like ordinary gods, who could experience billions of thoughts in a single moment. That was why it had to operate through a representative. Even that was only possible through great effort. If the God world had been able to directly interfere with the Sovereign Lord, he would have died much earlier. Although the King of God Mammoths was said to be the strongest, that wasn't taking into consideration the God world itself. The main difference was that the God world had never taken human form. But if it did, that would change everything. If it could think that much faster, then no one could possibly be a match for it. Not even the combination of the King of God Mammoths, Demon Master, and High Priestess would be close they would be killed in an instant. It didn't matter how impressive Yang Chi was. If the essence of the God world could take human shape, then he would be wiped away by its power like an egg encountering a rock. I don't believe you, boy, the demon master said. The essence of the God world simply can't take human form. Believe me or not. Your choice. I've said what needs to be said. I just don't want to see you die. You see, we're all like ants on a string right now. Forget about the God world taking human form. Even just Yang Chi is a big threat right now. Do you really think that you're strong enough to deal with him alone? If so, you're crazy. The only way we can handle him is if we work together. 
and if we don't, we'll just end up subjugated. In other words, you want us to join you, the demon master said. Come on, we're no fools. We know what you really want. You're more ambitious than a wolf. In fact, why shouldn't we just go join Yang Chi? It's true that it probably makes more sense for you to join Yang Chi than me, Proud Heaven replied with a sinister smile. Anyone can see that his empire is bringing about a new age. Although my empire is growing rapidly as well, there's no way it could ever catch up to Yang Qi. However, if you side with Yang Qi, that means you'll eventually face the essence of the god world. So you decide. You can already see the punishment the god world has meted out to the sage monarch empire. They're clearly enemies. In fact, the god world directly told me this. War will break out soon, and there can't be a third major power. The god world won't allow it. So let me summarize why I came here. First, to recruit you. Second, to warn you. Neither the essence of the god world nor Yang Chi will allow another major power to enter the picture. However, you have to wonder why Yang Chi hasn't already come to take care of you. The reason is that he's not worried about you. He's trying to uncover clues leading to the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. He wants to force them out and get rid of them so they won't cause unexpected problems later. What, the High Priestess said in astonishment. The Sovereign Lord and the True Devil are still alive? Doesn't the essence of the God world have some clue about where they are? What's there to be surprised about? The King of God Mammoths said. We three survived the Great Tribulation. And those two were the top figures in the God world, far surpassing us. Yang Qi doing the right thing, tracking them down. After all, his success is built on the God Legion Seal and the Mahatma Jade. Those two things contain the will of the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil, respectively. He has to find them and wipe them out, otherwise they could spring on him unexpectedly and try to possess him. After hearing the King of God Mammoth's analysis, Proud Heaven laughed heartily. You're absolutely right, King of God Mammoths. So now do you understand? Think it through. If you join Yang Qi, you'll enrage the essence of the God world even further. And you might even end up clashing with the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. Surely you don't want to fall into his hands again. You could try to form a third power, but that would result in you dying. In the end, your best bet is to join my dynasty, which is really run by the essence of the God world, not me. They understood their options. Joining Yang Qi would be extremely risky. None of them could possibly deal with the essence of the God world, nor were they sure about the ramifications of the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. Forming their own power structure seemed foolish. It seemed the third option was the best. After a long moment of silence, the Demon Master said, it seems siding with the essence of the God world is the best choice. But how exactly do we go about doing that? For example, I suggest I bring all of my demon folk with me. Otherwise, the power of your destiny will turn us into nothing but slaves. Absolutely not, Proud Heaven said. This is a simple matter. The demon folk won't be allowed in, otherwise everything will descend into chaos. There are ten times as many demon folk in the god world as there are humans. My empire would collapse. Even the demon master had to admit that it was true that bringing so many demon folk into a human empire would lead to disaster. What if we just bring the demon folk god lords, the king of god mammoths said, and you ordain us as nobility? What do you say? And of course, you have to promise not to harm us in any way. That'll work. All three of you will have the same rank. Agreed? Furthermore, I don't have the right to execute you, nor randomly expel you. I can only deal with you as the essence of the God world wishes. Truth be told, this is all what the essence of the God world wants. For me to ordain you with titles will involve a big expenditure of destiny. In other words, it won't do my empire much good. But the essence of the God world has convinced me to do it. In that case, why don't we discuss which God lords to bring? 
the total number will definitely be at least twice what you currently have. And we also need to come to an agreement about the titles of nobility. What about the other demon folk, the high priestess said. Other demon folk, the king of god mammoths said mercilessly. Humph. We continue to force them to pray, building up the power of Operation Demon Destruction. That can be our trump card to use against Yang Chi. As long as he could transcend safely, he didn't care if all the other demon folk in the god world were wiped out. Agreed, the high priestess said. With a deadly trump card like that, we won't have to worry about unexpected opposition. Operation Demon Destruction was a destructive plan that involved having the demon folk constantly pray, building up immense curse power. It would twist the hearts of the demon folk who prayed, turning them into vengeful spirits that would be absorbed by the altar itself. When the power was unleashed, it would be enough to slaughter half an old experts. Proud Heaven didn't dare to allow himself to be infected by that rancorous energy. Of course, he knew that the unexpected opposition the High Priestess had mentioned referred to him. That said, he had his own plans, and knew that if he said anything to oppose these three experts, they wouldn't join him. These three have a very vicious plan in their Operation Demon Destruction. They plan to force all the demon folk to use a curse that turns them into rancorous spirits. When they unleash that power, it could damage the god world itself, let alone some empire. Of course, the price is the sacrifice of countless demon folk lives. Proud Heaven could see the process happening in the demon folk empire even now. The final weapon would be deadly. Proud Heaven wasn't going to do anything about it now. First, he had to deal with Yang Qi, then the essence of the god world. After all, he had no sense of loyalty to the god world. He actually wanted to devour its essence. Of course you can go through with your Operation Demon Destruction, he said. I'll even help you with it. Call your god lords into a meeting to explain what's happening, then carry on with your plan. The god world doesn't want a bunch of demon folk in it anyway, so wiping them out will be good. And it will save a lot of resources. Thus, a master plan was hatched. The King of God Mammoths and Proud Heaven sealed the deal, and countless demon folk god lords were summoned. Titles of nobility were handed out. To Proud Heaven's surprise, they didn't even try to negotiate. Of course, the demon folk feared the essence of the god world, so there was no way they would make demands. Several days passed before the process was complete. Chapter 1595 Essence in Human Form, Part 2 Proud Heaven's glib tongue had won over the King of God Mammoths, the Demon Master, and countless demon folk god lords. They would all join the Deathless Heaven Empire. And they signed a formal agreement allowing for all of them to share in the destiny. Even Proud Heaven signed it, binding it with his own life force. Next, Operation Demon Destruction was furthered. The demon folk god lords didn't care at all for their own kind. They treated them like livestock, and simply watched as their prayers ended with them being sacrificed. Several months passed. Thanks to the innumerable prayers being offered by the demon folk, a devil embryo now existed on the altar, and it was growing larger every day. It already pulsed with an energy that seemed to border on the half an old level. Eventually, it would become a rancorous spirit that would take the initiative to devour the demon folk around it, inflicting misery and suffering on them. The demon folk in the god world were experiencing a tribulation like no other. Well, Operation Demon Destruction is roughly half accomplished, said the king of god mammoths. The devil embryo has reached strength equivalent to the half an old level, and can now feed itself. Let's leave it to run amok in the god world and head back to your empire to take our positions. The king of god mammoths couldn't help but chuckle at the sight of the devil embryo. He couldn't control it, nor could the demon master or the high priestess. When the time came for Operation Demon Destruction to come to fruition, the devil god would destroy the rest of the demon folk and become the most powerful entity imaginable. All right, let's go, proud heaven said, casting a grim look at the devil embryo. He knew full well that the inhuman embryo could easily kill him, if he didn't have the protection of the essence of the god world. 
Right now, the king of god mammoths and the others were afraid of the god world, not him. Otherwise, they would have done everything they could to kill him. Once the devil embryo was complete, the king of god mammoths wouldn't have anything to fear from proud heaven's empire. Of course, because of the agreement that had been signed, proud heaven couldn't do anything against them. For now, they would go and take their official positions, then struggle for power using interest groups. Of course, the king of god mammoths and the demon master were already planning a way to overthrow proud heaven. Rumble The demon folk god lords joined the four half and old experts as they headed toward the deathless heaven empire. Yang Chi saw all of this happening, and smiled. Operation Demon Destruction Ruthless They're going to wipe out all the demon folk in the god world. The destructive power of that weapon is enough to wipe out any empire. That said, the king of god mammoths is asking a tiger for its skin by joining proud heaven. The only question is how he'll end up dying. It's a good thing I have my back door into his empire. I'm curious to see how things develop. Unfortunately, Yang Chi didn't have time to waste on the king of god mammoths and the others. He had been fully focused on trying to track down the true devil and the sovereign lord over the past few months. He was starting to wonder if they were really dead. That said, he was remaining on full alert, and wasn't taking the situation lightly. He was still operating under the assumption that they were deep in hiding. Over the course of the past months, his empire's dynasty had grown, and he had built up more resources. A multiverse was forming in the depths of his empire, and each universe that made it up was complete with its own flow of time. He was making his own natural laws. Immense power was building up as he drew on primal chaos Palea energy. Yang Immortal Slayer becoming a half an old expert had been extremely beneficial. He joined the Invincible Dogu in taking the lead in educating the experts of the Empire in matters of their cultivation base. And as they led the people of the Empire in prayer, they improved both individuals and the Empire as a whole. Jade Fall and the others were constantly climbing in their cultivation, but unfortunately, none of them were able to reach the half an old level. That said, most of them had psychic scales between 2 and 300 billion. And all of them wore a combined version of the Matam Jade and the God Legion seal, created by Yang Chi after he became a full fateless one. Although it was only about 1% as powerful as the original, that was still incredibly mighty. By now, all of Yang Qi friends and family were on par with the Patriarch of the Universe and the others who had been sentenced to death by the Sovereign Lord. Unfortunately, further progress would be difficult. Yang Qi knew that the bottleneck they faced didn't have anything to do with him. Nothing he could do would help them reach the half an old level. Of course, there was another unique entity to consider, and that was the Perling. It had been deeply asleep ever since Yang Qi reached the half an old and it wouldn't wake up. It didn't want to be affected by any karma, and Yang Chi was happy to go along with its wishes. He wasn't going to get any more help from it. That said, he didn't need help. He would face his enemies alone. No one could help him. He had to rely on himself, otherwise how could he possibly qualify to lead all living beings in transcendence? Furthermore, he had enemies who operated in the open and enemies in hiding. Those in the open were proud heaven and the essence of the god world. Those in hiding were the sovereign lord and the true devil. He had to be prepared to face both. Thus, he was holding back his troops without moving. When the king of god mammoths, high priestess and demon master led the demon folk god lords into the deathless heaven dynasty, everything trembled violently. It was a result of the power of the demon folk. At the moment, Everyone was gathered in a public square to be officially ordained with titles. Proud Heaven stood at the head of the crowd, but he hadn't given out any of the ordainments yet. At a certain point, the King of God Mammoths frowned and turned to the Demon Master and the High Priestess. What exactly is Proud Heaven up to? Don't tell me he's planning to back out of the agreement. The Demon Master chuckled coldly. Even if he were ten times gutsier than he is, he wouldn't back out. First of all, we have a signed contract connected to the destiny of his empire. Second, 
if we start fighting, it'd be devastating. Third, we could summon the devil soul from Operation Demon Destruction to absolutely destroy his empire. Then what the hell is he up to, the High Priestess asked. Let's wait and see. Proud Heaven almost seemed to be in a trance, leading everyone present to have a very odd feeling about what was going on. Halen was there, but she wasn't speaking. She just stood there as if she knew exactly what Proud Heaven was planning. All of a sudden, Proud Heaven opened his mouth. However, what came out wasn't a proclamation of ordainment. It was something else. We offer respectful greetings, essence of the God world. Welcome to the Deathless Heaven Empire. Rumble. Ruhuluhuumble. Mountain crushing, sea shattering force weighed down on the Empire, causing all of the experts present to nearly pass out. Most of them dropped to the ground, where they remained in place unmoving. The King of God Mammoths and the others just barely managed to stay standing, and the God Lords all dropped to all fours, making them look like frogs. What? Is this the essence of the God world? It's so strong. The King of God Mammoth suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood as the King of the Great Deo appeared behind him. He wanted to fight back, but knew that he couldn't. No half an old could. They were as helpless as children. However, the pressure only lasted for a short while, whereupon everyone breathed sighs of relief. They could sense a mighty will converging before them something that could dry up seas and crumble rocks, sink moons and bury stars, and crush the heavens and destroy all life. It was a woman. It seemed as though her each and every moment was filled with pre-heaven power, as if she controlled primal chaos and could wield the boundless meridians and the great Deo. She seemed like the incarnation of infinite glory, infinite order, infinite vital energy, infinite fate and the infinite void. She was the manifestation of the essence of the God world. And she was the spitting image of Yang Qi Mother, Green Zura. The essence of the God world had taken a shape. Normally speaking, the God world would take hundreds of years to form a thought, but now it could think like a normal person. The essence of the God world was mightier than the Sovereign Lord, but because of the slowness of its thoughts, it was normally possible for the most elite experts to escape its wrath. It was similar to how an elephant would have a great deal of trouble getting rid of a single ant. But now that the God world had a human form, who could escape it? She looked over at the King of God Mammoths, the High Priestess, and the Demon Master. They felt their hair standing on end as they realized they were absolutely powerless to stand up to this level of power, and that if they moved, they would likely be punished with death. How very miserable! All the schemes and plans these people had been considering were now completely pointless. As it turned out, Proud Heaven hadn't just been trying to intimidate them. He understood matters far more deeply than they did. Chapter 1596, The Debut of Green Zura The essence of the God world had taken human form, and it looked exactly like Green Zura. It might even be possible to say that it was Green Zura, and Green Zura was it. The will of the God world had combined with Green Zura in order to manifest itself. Green Zura was fundamentally an extraordinary individual. Considering she had given birth to Yang Chi, that much was obvious. However, the essence of the God world had changed her, otherwise she couldn't have appeared in this fashion. Which was more difficult, for an ant to turn into an elephant, or for an elephant to turn into an ant. Both would be extremely challenging. Hello, King of God Mammoths, Green Zura said. Her voice was clear and crisp, and everyone who heard it felt somehow comfortable and calm. Why why you, you, the King of God Mammoths stammered, trembling physically. You're the essence of the God world? How did you take this form? I'm Green Zura, Yang Qi Mother. Yang Qi is a fateless one, and considering I gave birth to him, what's so surprising about this? King of God Mammoths, you worked with the Sovereign Lord in the past to try to siphon away my essence. But I killed the Sovereign Lord. Yet you're still buzzing around causing trouble for me. You, the King of God Mammoths replied. What are you planning to do? He obviously didn't dare to take any action. 
he knew that if he did, he could end up dead in an instant. Join me to deal with Yang Chi, Green Zura said. He might be my son, but he wants to transcend the god world, and I simply can't forgive crimes like that. And all I want to do is crush him down into his essence, that way the two of us can transcend together. We intended all along to cooperate with you, the High Priestess interjected quickly. Green Zura shook her head sadly. You wanted to use your share of destiny to hatch all sorts of plots and schemes. Obviously, that won't work. So I'm negating the clause about you being ordained as nobility. In fact, I'm cancelling the contract. You need to serve proud heaven unconditionally as slaves. After all, he's my representative. Acknowledge allegiance to him, and you acknowledge allegiance to me. Understand? Now kowtow. This, upon hearing that the contract was being cancelled, a buzz rose up among the demon folk god lords. However, they didn't dare to do anything in defiance. And the destiny of the empire wasn't affected at all. After all, it wasn't Proud Heaven who was rescinding the contract, it was Green Zura, the essence of the god world. She was so powerful that there was no destiny backlash for doing things like that. In the god world, she was completely untouchable. What? Not willing to go along? Green Zura laughed. In that case, I suppose I'll have to purge you parasites. All you do is lurk on my body sucking my blood. Not exterminating you is just a waste of my resources. No, the High Priestess said, dropping to her knees. O oh mighty essence of the God world, we're willing to acknowledge allegiance to you. We don't need any titles of nobility, or any share of the destiny. We'll give destiny to the Empire. The Demon Master also knew that the only option in dealing with this entity that dwarfed the Sovereign Lord, was to drop to his knees. What about you, King of God Mammoths? Green Zura said, looking at him. The King of God Mammoths hesitated for a moment. However, he knew that a wise man knows when to back down when the odds are against him. Dropping to his knees, he said, I acknowledge allegiance. Good. You three, plus those demon folk god lords, will form the Sage Extermination Battalion, an autonomous group that focuses on warfare. I'll give you the resources you need, but keep in mind that you have no authority in the Empire. You follow orders, and focus on cultivation, training, and war. Understand? With that, she severed their connection to the destiny of the Empire. Going forward, they would be tools used to attack the enemy. And they obviously wouldn't be able to act in their own interests. Green Zura did things efficiently, both bringing them into the Empire and, at the same time, ensuring that they wouldn't cause problems. Normally speaking, the god world wouldn't have done something like this. But Green Zura would. After all, she had commanded hosts of demon folk in the impure lands, back when she was the holy mother of the Hanging Mountain. The combined version of her and the essence of the god world was now capable of countless plots and schemes. This, the demon folk god lords murmured, exchanging awkward glances. However, they knew there was nothing they could do. They were now slaves but at least they were in the Sage Exterminating Battalion, which wasn't a bad thing, all things considered. The downside was that they were tools, little more than thralls that Green Zura was obviously going to use to wage war on the Sage Monarch Empire. When facing Proud Heaven, they could have fought back, or found ways to cut him down. But they had no chance with Green Zura. Under Green Zura's command, all of the demon folk were brought into the Empire, causing its destiny to surge wildly. With the host of god lords, plus three half an old experts, as well as Green Zura herself, it was impossible to say how high the destiny would go. Yang Chi could do nothing but watch as the Deathless Heaven Empire's destiny skyrocketed. In fact, the god world instantly expanded as streams of energy swept back and forth everywhere. It wasn't going to be possible to avoid war. It was now obvious who the major forces in the god world were. The demon folk empire was no more. The king of god mammoths had control of the rancorous energy caused by the sacrifice of countless demon folk, 
and he was fully on the side of the Deathless Heaven Empire. When the destiny of the Deathless Heaven Empire reached its absolute peak, filling every corner of the God world, when there were no other organizations at all, and when there were no other forces out in primal chaos, that would be the time for the final battle. That moment was rapidly approaching. There's still time to work with, Yang Chi murmured, sighing. Thanks to the back door in the Myriad Worlds Monarch chart, he was aware of everything that had just occurred in the Deathless Heaven Empire. He remembered everything about his mother, all of the details of her face, and everything else about her. Sadly, this wasn't his mother anymore. It was the essence of the God world, the mightiest entity there was, surpassing even the Sovereign Lord. It had absorbed his mother, and the only possible way to separate them was to seal the essence of the God world. That said, he was still convinced his mother was safe. He would kill the essence of the God world, if he had to. There was nothing in the world he couldn't do, and he truly believed that he was the most powerful and competent God spirit to exist in the many heavens. All problems would have to be solved through the final battle. All fates in the world led to war. After the battle was fought, perhaps the god civilization would evolve into a new type of civilization. Or perhaps a new heaven and earth would be created, a new universe and a new age. Proud Heaven's empire was growing, and Yang Qi empire was also growing. Both were devouring primal chaos Palea energy to get stronger, and both were putting everything on the line. Meanwhile, Yang Qi cultivation base was rising. With every breath he took, his aura got closer and closer to being annulled. Unfortunately, he still hadn't located the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil, which made him very worried about where exactly they were. If he didn't find them, the essence of the God world probably would. Obviously, it knew exactly how dangerous and powerful they were. All of Yang Qi friends and family knew that war was coming, therefore, all of them focused heavily on their cultivation. There were no locations in the God world that hadn't been explored. The ruins had all been dug up, and the most powerful objects had been added to the everlasting Aegis. The everlasting Aegis produced brand new pre-heaven treasures constantly, and Yang Qi had even started working on the minor halls of heaven. As Yang Qi breathed, he absorbed the primal chaos Palea energy and used it to create all sorts of treasures. Then he took those treasures, compressed them, and used them to create ship-like structures that resembled the old halls of heaven, except smaller. At the moment, they only had about 1% of the level of power as the original. He then inserted the small versions of the halls of heaven into his sage monarch magistrates, making them much stronger. He did the same with his friends and family, who would then be able to practice their cultivation much faster. Unfortunately, none of them were able to enter the half an old level. That said, all of them were strong enough that they could at least hold their own against a single half an old opponent. His people were growing stronger and stronger. As for the ascendants, they had already surpassed the dragon folk and the sprite folk. Although he couldn't produce more half an old experts, he had all sorts of god lords popping up everywhere. Their numbers reached a hundred thousand, then two hundred thousand. And when the men and women became couples, they produced offspring whose cultivation advanced rapidly. Yang Qi observed for a while, then closed his eyes. He knew that it wouldn't be long before it would either be the time of transcendence, or the time of destruction. Everything would explode, or everything would die. The God world included. In fact, so were the immortal worlds and the impure lands. Once Yang Qi went to war with the essence of the God world, nothing would be left behind. The universe was about to enter the cycle of reincarnation. Either that, or it would never again be reincarnated, nor would it produce new life. All eras would end, an eternal night would come about. He breathed slowly, remaining still and quiet in thought. Then he sent a stream of divine will down to surround the god world. He heard voices that sounded like those of mothers speaking to children, holding them in a warm embrace. The essence of the god world is calling me. He opened his eyes, and they looked completely calm as he stepped out of the sage monarch empire and into primal chaos. It was a dangerous thing to do, 
as he was outside of the protection of his empire and its destiny. Therefore, he didn't want to go too far. That said, the only possible threat he could face was the essence of the god world. Chapter 1597, A Discussion with Mother The essence of the god world had called out to Yang Qi. Therefore, he stepped out of his empire into primal chaos. Looking around, he could see the primal chaos slowly shrinking, like a lake that was slowly evaporating in the hot sun and turning into a quagmire. The world of primal chaos was large, but with the god world and the sage monarch empire constantly expanding, it was slowly getting smaller and smaller. Two tigers cannot live on one mountain. One sea cannot contain two dragons. Resources were limited. One day, the resources would run out, and death would result. From their perspective, both Yang Qi and the essence of the god world could see the changes occurring. Clasping his hands behind his back, Yang Qi said, Show yourself. A mighty will descended, taking human form a few dozen meters in front of him. It was Green Zura. Yang Qi mother. Of course, Yang Qi knew that this terrifying entity wasn't truly his mother. His real mother no longer existed, having been absorbed by the essence of the god world and turned into something different. I'm honestly surprised you left the safety of your empire to meet me, Yang Qi, she said with a smile. I didn't think you'd take that risk. Why wouldn't I, he said, his face completely expressionless. Scum like the king of god mammoths might be afraid of you, but I'm honestly not worried at all. Why exactly have you called for a meeting instead of just starting the final war? Is that how you speak to your mother, she said with a slight frown. You're the essence of the god world, and we're foreordained to fight each other. So stop wasting words. This is a war for existence. Look around. The world of primal chaos Palea energy is shrinking. In the end, only one person can have access to all the resources. If we could share them, we could both transcend. But that's not going to happen. So this is a war of resources, survival, and transcendence. Only with complete command of the resources can one of us transcend and reach the other shore of Pramit. Anyone who tries to stop us will be eradicated. You know that as well as I do, so stop with the sentimental nonsense. I don't want to hear anything about familial love, friendship, or romantic love. Yang Qi had perfectly described the determination that was involved in transcendence. Everything was false. Only transcendence was true and real. When it came to transcendence, things like emotions and love were nonsense. Infantile. Laughable. Yang Qi wasn't afraid of the essence of the god world. He knew the essence was incredibly mighty, and was the most powerful entity to have ever existed. But that didn't change the fact that he was the top expert in the god world. So he wasn't going to allow himself to be pushed around. Besides, even before he had absorbed the other half of the fateless energy, he was already strong enough to crush the king of god mammoths, demon master, and high priestess. After absorbing the fateless energy, he had advanced by leaps and bounds, reaching an enigmatic state in which he could break through to the ultimate level at any moment. Furthermore, his efforts to duplicate minor versions of the halls of heaven had pushed his cultivation base to a completely different level. He was now many times beyond the level of the old sovereign lord. Thus, he didn't fear the essence of the god world. At least, not as long as he was outside of the god world. It would have the advantage there, on home ground. But out in primal chaos, it couldn't simply kill him. This was neutral ground, where they were surrounded by nothing but endless primal chaos palea energy. This was the most powerful man in existence and the most powerful woman. Of course, the essence of the god world could have taken either male or female form. Well said, Green Zura said. As a fateless one, you're just as stupendous as would be expected. You're definitely my biggest enemy. That said, given your fateless origin, why exactly do you want to lead all living beings into transcendence? Don't you realize that only a single individual can transcend? You're wrong about that. 
the only way to transcend is along with all living beings. Without them, it's impossible. Death will result. The reason for that is that the living beings of the world are required to tap into its energy. Without the people, there wouldn't be any energy in the world to begin with. It's a simple truth, don't you agree? Yang Chi waved his hand, causing a starry sky to appear in front of him. Within it was a planet orbiting a star, upon which humans came to be. Millions and millions of years passed during which the humans eventually developed the ability to create power that surpassed that of their own planet. They eventually traveled to other planets. One day, their own planet was reaching the end of its life, and was about to sink into destruction. However, the humans were able to save it by infusing it with new life force. See? Things like this have happened in the impure lands many times over. Worlds exist only because of the living beings that occupy them. It's a beautiful thing. With living beings, transcendence is possible. You're mistaken, Green Zura said. Living beings are parasites that waste resources and power. The more people, the more waste. The only possible path is to kill them all and allow one individual to have access to all the resources. That's the key to transcending. And the fact that you're taking away the primal chaos paleo energy that I need, well, it's a big threat to me. You can't do anything to me, Yang Chi said. Is that so? Well, the more primal chaos paleo energy I devour, the bigger I get. Once the primal chaos paleo energy is all gone, your world will be exposed, and I'll devour it too. We're both devouring the primal chaos paleo energy. And thanks to the people in my empire, my use of it is many times more efficient than yours. Even if I devoured dozens of times less primal chaos paleo energy, I'd still be more than a match for you in the final battle. You say living beings aren't useful, yet you're using proud heaven and the others to make destiny, and to power your war machine. After all, devouring primal chaos paleo energy to create resources doesn't instantly result in fighting prowess. Yang Chi had hit the nail on the head. The essence of the god world could devour primal chaos paleo energy and create resources, but the resources required living beings to turn them into fighting prowess. He had only been telling the truth. The people in his empire made his use of resources many times more efficient. He could use one-tenth the resources to create an equivalent amount of fighting prowess. In Proud Heaven's empire, on the other hand, everyone operated with selfish motives which meant that they required ten times as many resources as Yang Chi to produce the same result. In other words, even before the primal chaos paleo energy was completely devoured, Yang Qi Empire would definitely surpass the fighting prowess of the god world. The god world would be at a disadvantage, and he could crush it. To Yang Qi, it was obvious why the essence of the god world had been so anxious to assume human form and meet him. Green Zura knew that the end result of the current situation would be disadvantageous for it. Therefore, she wanted war sooner rather than later. Beforehand, though, she wanted to see how strong Yang Chi really was. In response to Yang Chi pointing out her weaknesses, Green Zura smiled and prepared to hit back in kind. You're right that you can benefit a bit by ruling those bugs. But there's something you've forgotten. In fact, there are two things that are going to stab you in the back. I doubt you know what I'm talking about. The Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. Yang Chi said. Oh, so you do know. Then why aren't you out there looking for them? Those venomous bastards could jump out at any moment to overthrow your empire. But I have a way to find them, if you want it. But I have to warn you, they're actually hiding in your empire. That's the price you have to pay for using the God Legion Seal and the Motum Jade. I'll find them on my own, Yang Chi replied. I wouldn't want to trouble you. If only you'd join me, Yang Chi, she said. Bring your sage monarch empire back into the God world. I'm your mother, after all. I don't want to kill you. Yang Chi laughed. If I came back into the God world, you'd devour me. You just told me you want to devour all other living things. That's your plan, 
to consolidate power and transcend. As a fateless one, you'd benefit a lot from assimilating me. Do you think I'm a child that I would believe your lies? She smiled. No, Yang Chi. You've miscalculated. There's something that I can't devour, something that the both of us could use to transcend together. All of a sudden, everything clicked for Yang Chi, and his eyes blazed with incisive light. The Great Necropolis. Exactly. As the essence of the God world, there's only one thing I fear, and it's not you. It's the Great Necropolis. When she spoke the words, her eyes flickered with hatred. I can devour all the resources there are but not the great necropolis. Furthermore, it can stop me from transcending. It's the only flaw that exists in my plan, the only thing that can ruin everything. But you have the power to assimilate it. So join me. I'll give you the great necropolis. Then I can devour everyone else and transcend. What do you think? You use the great necropolis to transcend, I'll use all the living beings in existence. It's the perfect plan. All existence will belong to you and me. Mother and son. This was a true proposal, not a trick. However, Yang Chi had a question. I thought you had made your choice already in proud heaven. Proud heaven? She laughed. That rapacious wolf? I know full well that he's secretly planning to use the great necropolis against me. But how could childish plots like that slip past me? I'll make it very simple, if you join me, we can kill Proud Heaven. He's nothing but a slave anyway. Chapter 1598, The Perfect Plan of Cooperation Proud Heaven was a vicious wolf who would stop at nothing to get what he wanted. Both Yang Chi and Green Zura knew that. In fact, if Green Zura didn't know, it would reveal her to be a massive idiot who didn't deserve to have fused with the essence of the god world. Yet she was still willing to use proud heaven. He was the perfect genius to use against Yang Chi, and in fact, without him, the entire effort would have been impossible. But if she could get Yang Chi to join her, she would kill proud heaven without hesitation. Then she could give the great necropolis to Yang Chi, while she devoured everything in the god world in preparation for transcendence. After all, she needed someone to assimilate the great necropolis, otherwise she couldn't transcend. Although Proud Heaven had command of a portion of the necropolis, he couldn't assimilate the entire thing. Only Yang Chi had that power. If Yang Chi couldn't do it, no one could. There was just one critical point that hadn't been clarified. So, Yang Chi said, you want to devour my empire, along with all my friends and family. That's right. You know as well as I that your empire is just too big. It has too much of a negative influence on my development. Because of it, I can't get all the resources I need. Your friends and family steal my resources. Furthermore, you have that pearling there with you. It's a unique entity that exists separate from all types of karma. I need to devour it as well. It's a trade-off. You get the great necropolis, but I kill everyone. We'll be the only two beings left. That's what it means to transcend. No third living being can be left alive. In that case, I refuse, Yang Chi said with a decisiveness that could sever nails and chop iron. The only way to end this is with war. He wasn't even sure if he could assimilate the great necropolis. But the more salient point was that abandoning his empire and his brethren to get it just wasn't an option. Fine. Then I guess this discussion is over. It's time to prepare for war. Green Zura had created the perfect plan of cooperation. But Yang Chi would never abandon his empire and its people. So the idea of cooperation popped like a bubble. War would be the outcome, and no one had any idea how it would all end. However, one thing was certain, Yang Chi needed time to find the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. Sadly, there was no way the essence of the God world would readily give him that time. Every moment that passed was bad for the essence of the God world. Although the God world could devour resources much more quickly than the everlasting Aegis, 
those resources weren't particularly effective in terms of fighting prowess. In other words, the potential of Proud Heaven's empire was limited. Meanwhile, Yang Qi Empire had fighting prowess that was only continuing to rise. Everyone there was a sage or matam. Even the children were born that way. It led to a terrifying level of power. Well then, Yang Qi, our mother-son relationship ends here and now. Going forward, we have nothing to look forward to but war. I hope you are ready to face my wrath. Yang Qi laughed. I could have told you before that we weren't mother and son. I'm going to kill you and bring my real mother back. Let the war begin. And by the way, yes, I'm ready. Ai, she sighed. You're strong, but in the end, you're going to be destroyed. You might be the most powerful expert to have ever existed, but you're still just human. I'm the ultimate entity to exist in all the many heavens and myriad worlds. I represent everything. The Great Dao. Fate. Power. Glory. Anything and everything. Everything and anything. It's all encompassed in me. There's no way you can win a war with me. Your empire and your people aren't going to survive. I guess we'll see, Yang Chi said. Rumble. Green Zura vanished without a trace. As soon as she returned, the god world changed. Yang Chi saw it suddenly brighten, and could sense an evil climate from within it. Apparently, the mass destruction of the living beings there had already begun. The god world was an inherently vile existence. When Yang Chi had first arrived, it snowed for months. And it had experienced ice ages that lasted for thousands of years. Other times, summer would bake the lands as if with fire. Now, its climate had become millions upon millions of times worse than before. The light that shone down on it could kill paramount gods, and destroy virtually any god kingdom that had been set up in its multiverse. Resources were no longer created anywhere in the god world, nor could safety be found anywhere. Except the deathless heaven empire. The essence of the god world was transforming its physical shape, ensuring that no living beings were there to take resources. Not even the most powerful old-timers could continue to exist. A massive tempest raged through the universes of the god world, and no one could escape destruction. It was a catastrophe the likes of which had never been seen. The radiation from it even seeped out into the world of primal chaos, forcing the old-timers who remained hidden there to flee into the deathless heaven empire, lest they die. Green Zura was preparing for the final attack. Yang Chi could see mass destruction playing out in the god world. Humans. Demon folk. Countless civilizations. They were all dying. Back when he'd arrived in the god world, it had been a rich and marvelous place. Small nations like the Lightning Bolt continent had numbered as many as the Eternal Sands, places where lesser gods were the patriarchs. But places like that were of little note. Even back when the Three Dynasty Alliance had existed, Yang Chi hadn't been able to consider conquering them. But now, all of that was going away. The climate itself was horrible enough to eradicate the common people. And there was nothing Yang Chi could do about it. There was no way for him to save those people or those civilizations. The essence of the god world was destroying all civilizations. In some ways, it was a natural thing. In the impure lands, planets would often experience catastrophes that wiped out all life on them. That was what happened when people got too comfortable, and disturbed the natural order of things. What he could do was search through the primal chaos Palea energy to find any old-timers in hiding to see if they would be willing to join him. The battlefield needed to be prepared, clean such that a third force couldn't arise to cause problems. Speed up operations. Yang Chi ordered, and the everlasting Aegis sped up, devouring primal chaos Palea energy at a greater rate than before. At the same time, he adjusted the flow of time. For every day that passed in the god world, a thousand years passed in Yang Qi Empire. After all, at the current rate, the resources wouldn't last for very long. However, after some time he had to change the flow of time again. Now, for every day that passed in the god world, 
ten would pass in his kingdom. Allowing a thousand years to pass would cause the population to grow far too rapidly. In order to devour the resources that were required, Yang Chi transformed into a primal chaos elder snake. He was King Heaven Devourer. Actually, he had already surpassed King Heaven Devourer. He was more like a primal chaos elder dragon. And it was with mad abandon that he devoured the primal chaos Palea energy. In fact, he wasn't thinking about anything else. Thus, days passed. Eventually, after a certain amount of time had gone by, the primal chaos Palea energy shivered. It had grown visibly thin, and beyond it was nothing but a boundless void with absolutely nothing in it, and no end. It was a place of eternal silence and emptiness. Yang Qi Empire was now ten times larger than before, and it was so powerful it seemed completely and utterly capable of crushing the god world below it. Meanwhile, everything was still and silent in the god world. Within its multiverse, no life existed. Everything was dark. The demon folk were no more. There was only one location left worth noting, and that was the Deathless Heaven Empire. It's been three years already. During the years since his conversation with Green Zura, they had both made plenty of preparations. However, despite the growth in Yang Qi Empire, or the increase in God Lords, he still hadn't made any more half an old experts. There were only three. As for the Deathless Heaven dynasty, they had Proud Heaven, the King of God Mammoths, the Demon Master, and the High Priestess. There was no fifth. Green Zura didn't count, as she was of a much higher level. The primal chaos Palea energy was very thin. The countless old timers who remained were shaken as they realized that the final war was about to begin, a war that would determine the fate of the many heavens and the myriad worlds. In the Sage Monarch Empire, everyone was calm. They looked upon death as going home, and were ready to fight. In contrast, the people in the Deathless Heaven Empire still had plots and schemes of their own that they were hoping to carry out. That said, the leaders kept strict control over everyone. The destinies of the two empires had reached the limit, and the clash between the two would shake all of the universes and worlds that existed. As the two destinies probed each other, the multiverse of the Sage Monarch Empire trembled, and the same happened to the God World. By now, the Sage Monarch Empire was roughly a third as large as the God World, which went to show how much Yang Qi had accomplished in growing it. As for Yang Qi cultivation base, no one could assess it. Chapter 1599, Let the War Begin the primal chaos Palea energy was finally thinning out. Generally speaking, it would be considered a bad thing, as it indicated that the many heavens and myriad worlds were going to run out of resources. Furthermore, it meant that war was coming. In the Deathless Heaven Empire, inside the central god palace, Green Zura sat on a high throne, with proud heaven on a smaller throne below her. Standing at an even lower level were the King of God Mammoths, High Priestess, and Demon Master. The other old-timers were all kneeling. Everyone, prepare for war, Proud Heaven said. The atmosphere was very tense, and no one dared to speak. When Proud Heaven made his announcement, everyone felt their hearts sink as they knew that the time had come to fight the Sage Monarch Empire. Green Zura didn't do any of the talking. She had Proud Heaven do it for her. Proud Heaven's aura seemed invincible. At the same time, he seemed to be vibrating constantly, sending out a rock-like energy that made him seem like some sort of ancient necropolis. His mere gaze was enough to freeze anyone in place and cause prickles of discomfort. By now, the King of God Mammoths knew without a doubt that he wasn't a match for Proud Heaven. Not by a long shot. During the past three years of rest, recovery, and preparations, Proud Heaven had grown stronger by several times over. Not even the Sovereign Lord could be a match for him now. As for his psychic scale, it had already blown past a trillion. The King of God Mammoths and the Demon Master still controlled the power of Operation Demon Destruction, thus were backed by a dimension with a sealed devil soul in it, as well as immense curse power. They could unleash it at any time as the most powerful of weapons. Green Zura had helped complete Operation Demon Destruction, 
and was planning to use it against Yang Qi. If Yang Qi Empire were to be hit with a devastating blow like that, it would surely reveal its weaknesses and allow for even more fatal blows to be unleashed upon it. No one really knew how much the Deathless Heaven Empire had grown during the past three years. The King of God Mammoths wasn't involved in the upper workings of the dynasty, but he knew that new experts had proliferated like bamboo after a spring rain. They had dozens of times as many god lords as before, perhaps even as many as a hundred times. The god world had never seen a level of force like this. Compared to the Deathless Heaven Empire, both the Sovereign Lord's old dynasty and the Sage Monarch Empire were like children's toys. After all, the Sovereign Lord had been fighting against the True Devil, Demon Master, King Immortal Slayer, Wretch God, and others. But now, there were only two forces in existence, the Sage Monarch Empire and the Deathless Heaven Empire. Presumably, you're mentally prepared, Proud Heaven said, looking over the crowd. This fight is to determine the fate of everything including the god world. The Sage Monarch Empire is a cancer that has to be eradicated completely. Don't worry, we're going to win. We have to win. We're going to wipe out everyone from the Sage Monarch Empire, down to the chickens and dogs. It's also the time to enrich yourselves. If you see something you want, take it, whatever it is. Everyone present exchanged surreptitious glances as they wondered if Proud Heaven was telling the truth. Did the Deathless Heaven Empire really have a chance of winning? We're definitely going to win, Halen said. His Majesty and I will personally lead the army, along with our Aegis, out to meet Yang Chi. The entire God world will move to the location of the Sage Monarch Empire. And we will have the advantage. Even as the words left her mouth, the god world started trembling and everyone could sense that it was moving upward, slowly heading toward the Sage Monarch Empire. Ever since the Sage Monarch Empire and the Everlasting Aegis had risen above the god world, everyone in the god world could look up and see it. And over the past three years, it had been obvious that it had been growing larger, until it seemed to cover almost everywhere in the god world. It caused an immense weight to crush down on them. But now, as the god world rose up, they eventually reached the position of being on the same level as the Sage Monarch Empire. As the destinies of the two empires clashed, the destructive force created an empty space between them, which would be the battlefield. Each clash of destiny caused both empires to tremble, resulting in the destruction of innumerable heavens and worlds. All of a sudden, Yang Qi sensed the passageway to the impure lands opening up from the force. As the shockwaves swept forth, everything in both the impure lands and the immortal world was destroyed. The Titan Emperor Heaven, the rich lush continent, the Quake Dong continent, Yan Haven, the Demi-Immortal Institute. Everything was now nothing but a distant memory. It was a new beginning. The past was being swept away by the wind, dispersed like clouds. Yang Qi stood at the forefront of his brethren and people as the god world rose up before them. Everyone had placid expressions and faint smiles, making them look almost like sleeping children. From the look of it, everyone knew that war was coming, and after that, transcendence. My people, Yang Qi said, his voice echoing throughout the silence of his empire. The time of transcendence has come. The final battle is here. No one will pose an obstacle for our will. If the Dao of Heaven blocks us, we will crush it. If fate tries to hold us back, we will destroy it. After this battle, we'll enjoy eternal peace and tranquility. It will be a new age, the likes of which has never been seen before. It will surpass the civilization of the gods, and will form an epic saga that lasts for all time. In response, cheering rang out everywhere. Let the fight begin. Yang Su Su cried. Fight, shouted Jade Fall. All of Yang Qi other friends and family took up similar cries. To battle. Yang Qi said. Rumble. His empire opened its doors and endless hordes of people flooded out, instantly getting into formations that could destroy anything in their path. Heaven and earth vanished. The universe became nothing. It was like a dream. This was truly mighty power. 
Before the god world could stabilize its position, Yang Qi and the armies of the sage monarch empire smashed into it. Immeasurable force slammed into the grey space of the god world. The people of the sage monarch empire were like floodwaters, singing divine songs as they bore the quintessence of their empire. The eternal living beings, pursuing your ideal, in the depths of the void, the eonic empty spirit. The free and unfettered spirit, when tribulation descends, atop the ruins, a beautiful flower blooms. The mighty will, severing the yoke of thought, the founding of civilization, creating the age of an epic saga. The psyche of predestination, controlling the fetters of fate, by means of the deathless charge, freedom is attained. Heft your sword, lift it high, the world, the sky, the earth, the universe, the legion of gods. Nothing can block our path. Countless songs and hymns were being sung by the citizens, Arius regarding the destruction of heaven and earth, the end of the universe, the reincarnation of life, new epochs and new starts. This was Yang Qi Empire. These were his people. These were his gods. This was his civilization. Nothing had been seen like these wills, these songs, this might, this grandeur. It could overwhelm everything, like a tempest sweeping over the battlefield. The greatest epic sagas of the past paled in comparison. Yang Qi people were a true people. And he was leading the charge. Bam! As they smashed into the grey space of the god world, everything trembled. The multiverse of the god world cracked loudly, and began to crumble. The god world was the mightiest thing in the many heavens, but it was at a disadvantage. And it couldn't stop the charge. Splat! All dimensions within the deathless heaven empire received a staggering blow, and spell formations and god kingdoms collapsed left and right. People evaporated. Countless citizens were turned to dust. There were even old-timers in the court who coughed up blood, completely shocked that Yang Qi initial blow would be this severe. The chanting and singing echoed in their minds. Whether it was the patriarch of the universe, Yang Chilio Cosm, or other old-timers, including the government officials, grand princes, monarch rulers, imperial dukes, marquises, and other leaders. Their empire couldn't even stand up to even a single blow from Yang Qi Empire. They couldn't fight a people like this. The destiny of the sage monarch empire was simply overwhelming, making theirs seem like a joke. The sage monarch empire had a will that could topple mountains and drain seas, and its people were completely and utterly united. This was a true empire. The people of the deathless heaven empire, even those like the king of god mammoths, felt like an unruly mob in the face of this charge. They were like gangsters who lived by extorting the weak, only to face an unstoppable army of divine soldiers. The two simply couldn't compare. Chapter 1600, The Grand Finale The Grand Finale had arrived. War had broken out between the God World and the Sage Monarch Empire, and there was no embellishment involved. There was no time wasted on empty speeches. Yang Chi led his citizens out, singing psalms and anthems, leading an attack that immediately unleashed devastation on the deathless heaven empire. Just that first blow served as a staunch warning. Everyone in the deathless heaven empire immediately realized that their disorganized forces were like nothing. Their empire was little more than a pack of disorderly hooligans. Yang Qi empire represented true sages, true destiny, and true transcendence. There was no denying it. Crack. Destructive power flowed through the god world. The grey space of the deathless heaven empire began crumbling, and sage light pierced inside, transforming anyone it touched into ash. Even proud heaven was deeply shaken. As for Halen, she coughed up a mouthful of blood. Everyone who wasn't a half an old expert felt doom and destruction about to overwhelm them. Damn you. Proud Heaven growled, his face ashen. Then a mighty aura erupted from his forehead, spreading out to stabilize his empire. His aura was fused with the Myriad World's Monarch Chart, which was supposed to provide an impenetrable defense. Sadly for him, it wasn't doing anything right now. The grey space created by his aura and the Myriad World's Monarch Chart might as well have been made of paper. Already, 
the second attack was incoming. All of the leaders could see clearly that the Sage Monarch Empire was unleashing everything. And the next attack was going to be ten times stronger than the previous. The singing rang in their ears, shaking them down to their souls. As for the sight that met their eyes, it was like a magnificent and majestic opera playing out right in front of them. It was a power they couldn't stand up to. Unless something happened to change the flow of events, they were going to be destroyed by this attack. No one could stop it, not even the god world itself. How could anyone have predicted that Yang Chi would grow this strong in only three years? How had the sage monarch empire advanced to such a level? The king of god mammoths looked drained, and his eyes contained nothing but terror. The high priestess and demon master looked similarly grim and terrified. They realized now more than ever that they couldn't fight Yang Chi. The destruction he could wreak was millions upon millions of times their own level. It was something that vastly surpassed the half an old level in every way. There was only one tiny scrap of hope left. Green Zura. She rose to her feet, and as she did, she grew to a size that made the god world itself look small. She was clearly the most powerful entity in existence. She waved her finger, ending with it pointing right at the flood of troops from the Sage Monarch Empire. She was unleashing her power to crush that river. Yang Chi was at the forefront of the army, and when he saw Green Zura move her arm, he knew what was coming. Go! All of a sudden, he grew incomparably large and mighty, such that he was on equal standing with the essence of the god world. The essence of the sage monarch world was about to clash with the essence of the god world. He also waved his finger out, but without any flourish or fanfare. Instantly, a wave of brilliant light swept forth, like the light of eyes, swords, blades, and gods. Whack! The two streams of power collided, and a massive shock wave rolled out, destroying countless things. Universes collapsed. Worlds, immortal worlds, the past, present, future, and everything else vanished. History, the myths of the gods, and time itself ceased to exist. As the past, present, and future converged into a single eternal point, a new beginning of dazzling radiance emerged. The eternal had been converted into dust and smoke, and the deathless was changed into nothing. Rumble. Yang Chi and Green Zura were both shaken deeply. They had both left their empires, and were in the middle of the world of primal chaos, where they were unleashing their most deadly attacks. Meanwhile, the people of the two empires were fighting fiercely. There was a lot of fighting to come. Operation Demon Destruction The King of God Mammoths and the Demon Folk waved their arms, sending out the Devil Embryo. All of the demon folk in the god world had been converted by means of a curse into this devil embryo, which flew out toward the sage monarch empire. The devil embryo's body was made of countless universes, and as it lunged toward the river of troops from the sage monarch empire, it seemed to roil with black clouds and sinister winds, as well as the wailing of ghosts and weeping of gods. A mighty will, turned into a monster. The invincible Dogu and Yang immortal slayer charged forth leading endless waves of sage monarch magistrates, all of them chanting curses. Splat! Every citizen of the empire exhaled, and countless versions of the halls of heaven shot out, then converged, creating a stream of distorted radiance and light that shot forth to meet the devil embryo. The rancorous energy and curses that made up the devil embryo of Operation Demon Destruction suddenly turned, smiling viciously as it looked at the deathless heaven empire. Shockingly, the power of Operation Demon Destruction was being turned on them. Crap! The King of God Mammoths, Demon Master, High Priestess, and countless Demon Master God Lords went crazy with fear and started screaming, Get out of the way! Run! They knew full well how terrifying Operation Demon Destruction was. Its power was sufficient to destroy empires. It was their trump card and the fact that it was turning on them caused their hearts to go cold. Chaos ensued, and the only person who maintained their calm was Proud Heaven. His expression was cold as he reached out and made a grasping gesture. As he did, the great necropolis appeared and its power rumbled out to absorb the essence of the god world. As a result, 
the god world immediately shrank down to 10% of its previous size. In contrast, the great necropolis grew to be thousands of times as big as the halls of heaven. It swept forth, covering the deathless devil embryo and the river of light created by the halls of heaven, after which a shriek rang out. Then the great necropolis shrank down and entered proud heaven's body again. Devil energy and sage light seated inside proud heaven, a result of him devouring both the devil embryo and the halls of heaven. The combination of power caused his cultivation base to climb, and at the same time, let him clamp down on the vital energy of the sage monarch empire. Well done. Very well done, he said, and his voice was so loud that it overwhelmed the sound of the fighting between Green Zura and Yang Chi. Of course, while it was his power, it was also the power of the Great Necropolis. I finally opened the doors of the Great Necropolis, allowing me to devour both Operation Demon Destruction and the Halls of Heaven created by the citizens of the Sage Monarch Empire. My power, my psyche, my cultivation base, and my Great Necropolis are all awakening. Already, his power was surging to incredible levels. Everyone in the Deathless Heaven Empire, listen to me. Do you know why no true annulled expert has ever existed in this world? It's because the resources of the God world aren't enough to push anyone to that level. The most it can handle is half annulled. But I can go beyond that. I have a way to reach the true annulled level. And it's all because of the Great Necropolis. The Great Necropolis is designed to bury, and being buried is being annulled. My power is such that neither the essence of the God world nor Yang Chi can match me. I'm going to truly transcend, and all of you are going to die. Rumble. Proud Heaven's cultivation base started rising rapidly. Then, his fist rocketed out in the direction of where Green Zura was fighting Yang Chi. Both Yang Chi and Green Zura had been holding nothing back, and the fighting had already become difficult between the two of them. But then Proud Heaven flew out summoning the great necropolis to attack them. Both could sense the aura of death approaching. But what kind of person was Yang Chi? He had defied the Dao of Heaven to become invincible, and had anticipated a moment like this would arrive. And he knew the time had come to use his trump card. Sage monarch magistrates, power up. Rise to the level of God Lords. Take your power from primal chaos the God world, the universe, and from fate. Yang Chi threw his hands up, then dropped them down. As his hands dropped, the sage monarch magistrates began changing. They threw their heads back and let loose long howls as their power and wills erupted. In the blink of an eye, all of the primal chaos and essence of the God world was sucked into them. At the same time, inside of them, it was possible to see the Matam Jade, God Legion Seal, and halls of heaven. Rumble. Countless explosions could be heard from within the god world as the sage monarch magistrates became vastly stronger. Crack. Each and every sage monarch magistrate became a god lord, one after another. And as they did, a chain reaction resulted, as their wills, spirits, and cultivation bases suddenly became void. The sage monarch magistrates were all becoming god lords. As a billion of them absorbed the primal chaos, it became thinner and thinner around them. It was like a mist that was slowly fading away. Meanwhile, Yang Qi power was growing. Clenching both hands into fists, he launched strikes at both Proud Heaven and Green Zura. One of them slammed into the Great Necropolis and the other sent Green Zura staggering backward. At the same time, the King of God Mammoths and his comrades were engaged in fierce fighting with the Sage Monarch Empire, with people falling in death with every moment that passed. Chapter 1601, It Ends All of a sudden, Green Zura said, True Devil! Sovereign Lord! Why haven't you come out yet? The God World was shrinking rapidly, and at the same time, crumbling everywhere. To the shock of all present, that world, which had remained unchanging for eons, suddenly became the size of a pellet and shot into Greenshira's chest. As for the Deathless Heaven Empire, it was left hanging alone in the thin, fading primal chaos. People could hardly wrap their minds around what was happening. Everyone could tell that an era of great destruction had arrived. 
the god world was gone, and that meant that the fates of all people had reached the end of the line. The war was reaching its final blaze of glory. As Green Zura called out, energy fluctuations suddenly rolled out from the Sage Monarch Empire. And they were coming from two specific members of Yang Qi Brethren. It was his sworn brother, Yang Doom. In the past, he had been called simply, Doom. He was the bearer of the God Legion seal from the primeval age. The other was the shepherd, the previous leader of the sages and Matams of hell. All of a sudden, Yang Doom erupted with unbounded radiance and light. It was with the same ease as blowing some dust that he stepped into the half an old level, then continued rising in power, his psychic scale reaching a trillion as he sucked in the destiny of the empire around him. The shepherd also rose to a higher level, quickly breaking past a psychic scale of a trillion. Of course, Yang Doom wasn't Yang Doom. He was actually the Sovereign Lord. And he was backed with a blazing sun of radiance and light, the power of which sought to destroy the Sage Monarch Empire. As for the shepherd, he wasn't one of Yang Qi brethren, he was the true devil. And he also wanted to destroy Yang Qi Empire. The Dao of Heaven was collapsing, and order was falling apart. A storm of destruction was descending on the Sage Monarch Empire. Their psychic fluctuations alone were enough to slaughter everyone in the Empire. The Sovereign Lord. The True Devil. They had finally shown their faces. As for the True Devil, he was backed by a blazing sun of pure darkness. I gave you everything, Yang Chi, said the Sovereign Lord. And now the time has come for you to pay me back. I also gave you everything, Yang Chi, said the True Devil. You got my Matam Jade, and now the time has come to pay me back. Dramatic things were happening in Yang Qi Sage Monarch Empire. A destructive revolution was underway. The Empire's destiny was crashing, and many of the citizens were transforming either into angels of radiance and light or devils of darkness and gloom. The True Devil and the Sovereign Lord had chosen this moment for their comeback, and they were trying to seize all the resources they could. Purr. However, that was when the Purling opened its eyes and spat out a bubble. Before the two experts could react, they were trapped, and balance was restored. However, that seal would obviously not last for long. In his mind, Yang Chi said, God Legion Seal. Soul of the Ancestor God. Combine. This was his true trump card that he had planned to use against the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil. The soul of the Ancestor God was vastly beyond the level of Operation Demon Destruction's Deathless Devil Embryo. The God Legion seal appeared on Yang Qi forehead, and as it combined with the soul of the Ancestor God, everything was pushed back, both radiance and light and darkness and gloom. Then, everything combined. The True Devil and the Sovereign Lord suddenly became ordinary citizens again. Pop! The True Devil and the Sovereign Lord were ejected, and everything went back to normal. A black and white shadow flew out of the Sage Monarch Empire. Inside the Empire, Yang Doom and the Shepherd had returned to their previous state. However, they remained in the half an old level. Yang Chi burst out laughing. Sovereign Lord, True Devil, I knew that you were hiding in my empire. And I had a plan for how to deal with you all along. Now you've been expelled, and your little attempt did nothing but push two of my brethren into the half an old level. Many thanks to you. Outside of the Sage Monarch Empire, the stream of black and white combined, then shot toward Proud Heaven. Shockingly, they were going to attempt to possess him. Give your body to us, Proud Heaven. And give us the great necropolis. We are its true owners. In the blink of an eye, the true devil and the sovereign lord shot right toward Proud Heaven. Proud Heaven shivered, then a cruel smile appeared on his face. Halen. In response to his words, she appeared behind him, and he stepped aside. Before the Sovereign Lord and True Devil knew what was happening, they were sucked into her belly, where an unborn child existed. Moments later, the child appeared, radiating immense power that merged with the Great Necropolis, which hovered above its head. Blood-curdling screams rang out from the True Devil and the Sovereign Lord. What's this? 
What's going on? How could this be happening? This is the result of all my hard work. The king of annulled. Proud heaven suddenly erupted with psychic power as his plot against the true devil and the sovereign lord was revealed. By means of the devil embryo and the great necropolis, he was taking the true devil and sovereign lord to make himself stronger. King of the great Dao? King of fate? They're all false. Only my king of the annulled is real. I am now the true sovereign lord of the god world. Proud heaven's cultivation base was reaching the ultimate limit. Taking advantage of the clash between Yang Chi and Green Zura, he clenched his hand into a palm, and attacked Green Zura. Immense power rumbled toward her, causing her to look over her shoulder and shout, Proud heaven, you vicious wolf! Am I vicious? I thought we were supposed to be working together. Well, I've assimilated the Sovereign Lord, the True Devil, and the Great Necropolis. I have more power than anyone's ever experienced. You can't fight me. I'm going to devour the God World. Which means I'm going to devour you. Then I'm going to kill Yang Chi. Everything will be mine. He viciously clenched his hand and a pellet was ripped out of Green Zura, which was none other than the God World. Instantly, the great necropolis covered it. Die. Yang Chi said, turning into a blur that shot toward proud heaven, who spun to face him. However, Yang Chi had already used his fateless power to grab Green Zura. In the blink of an eye, he had her in his hand. By this point, Green Zura wasn't controlled by the essence of the god world. She was really his mother. Proud heaven himself had extracted the god world pellet from her. Mother. Yang Chi said, sending his will into her. Blinking, she looked over at him, and it was clear she remembered everything that had played out. This was the real Green Zura, and she was in the half an old level. That said, her cultivation base was weak, far below the level of the High Priestess and the others. After all, she wasn't the God World anymore. Go into my empire, mother. Lead the fight against the Deathless Heaven Empire. The fight between me and Proud Heaven has only just begun. With that, he sent her down to his empire, where the fight with the Deathless Heaven Dynasty was still raging. Of course, the Deathless Heaven Dynasty was crumbling, with the King of God Mammoths, High Priestess, Demon Master and others having lost their morale. Some among their forces were already surrendering. Sadly for them, Yang Chi was too strong, and the attacks of the Sage Monarch Empire were too devastating. Rumble. Furthermore, the Sage Monarch Empire now had five half an old experts, Yang Immortal Slayer, the Invincible Dugu, Yang Doom, the Shepherd, and Green Zura. That wasn't to mention the upgraded Sage Monarch Magistrates. There just wasn't anything the Deathless Heaven Empire could do to fight back. It only took about an hour to wrap things up. The King of God Mammoths, High Priestess and Demon Master all surrendered. The Deathless Heaven Empire was no more. As for Proud Heaven, he hovered far above, his power levels rising. Having devoured the Sovereign Lord and the True Devil, as well as the essence of the God World, he was reaching an unheard of level of power. Because of that, he didn't even care that his empire had been destroyed. The fight is over for you, Yang Chi, he said hoarsely. Now that you've devoured my deathless heaven empire, your destiny has reached an unprecedented level. Your empire is truly invincible. Halen was standing next to him. Suddenly, he smashed his palm into her, provoking a scream that echoed out for a moment as she faded away into nothing. Expression hardly changing, proud heaven growled, useless woman. Now you're dead forever. Now that you've given birth to the king of the annulled, you serve no purpose. Yang Chi didn't show much of a reaction either. You've lost, proud heaven. Why not just kill yourself? Kill myself. Proud heaven threw his head back and laughed. Very funny, Yang Chi. That's like a child claiming to be an emperor. You see, destiny doesn't matter much in the face of the truly annulled. If you don't believe me, well, just wait a moment while I reach the true annulled level. 
you're going to die, and your empire is going to die. This is the strongest you've ever been, but it's not going to do you any good. I'm happy to cut you down when you're at your peak. I look forward to the look of despair on your face. Then I'll eliminate everyone else, until I'm the only person remaining. AI, Yang Chi sighed. You created your king of the annulled. And your body is the great necropolis. But sadly for you, you missed something huge. You see, that king of the annulled is mine. Didn't you realize that? I placed my own life force quintessence inside Halen. Look, I'm not going to lord it over you. You're simply no match for me. You can begin now, King Immortal Slayer. Ag. Proud Heaven's head filled with intense pain as the image of King Immortal Slayer appeared behind him. Come to me, King of the Annulled. I'm your father. Yang Chi made a beckoning gesture, and the King of the Annulled flew over to him, the great necropolis in its hand. No. Proud Heaven screamed. He knew that his cultivation base was strong enough that he could kill Yang Chi, but in the blink of an eye, everything had changed as Yang Chi seized control. Bam! Then Yang Chi walked forward and punched him in the face, sending him tumbling backward, another scream escaping his lips. Yang Chi walked over and stamped down on his chest, causing him to squeal like a pig. Then he trampled him, kicking him in the face and chest over and over until they caved in, leaving him a bloody paste. He now existed in a universe of never-ending pain. Great Necropolis! Yang Chi said, calling on the power of the King of the Annulled. Instantly, Proud Heaven was trapped. Yang Chi exhaled onto the necropolis, causing it to become his own, filling it with his psyche. Suddenly, he came to understand everything about the profundities of the necropolis, and all its transformations. That was when he realized that the great necropolis didn't represent an end, but a beginning. Proud Heaven struggled inside, racked with pain and screaming in rage, but completely helpless. I refuse to accept this, Yang Chi. Proud Heaven shouted. I've never been stronger than this. But you beat me with no effort. No. I'm the apex entity of all existence. How could I be destroyed like this? I never considered you to be a match for me, Yang Chi said. I've been playing you this entire time. No, he screamed. I'm going to destroy everything. Die. Die. All of you, just die. Rumble. He self-detonated, drawing on the power of the god world to do so, hoping to destroy Yang Chi with himself. However, Yang Chi simply used the great necropolis to suck up the force of the blast. Then his voice rang out, Proud Heaven, you sought to self-detonate using your power and that of the god world to open the final aspect of the great necropolis. But now you realize that I have no enemies left. Yet even as he spoke those words about not having any enemies left, a dazzling beam of sword energy appeared, heading right toward his forehead. It was impossible to say where the sword light came from, and while it came when Yang Chi was at his strongest, in some ways, he was also at his weakest, as he had just assimilated the great necropolis and was using it to defend against the detonation of the god world. Without Yang Chi to contain the force of the explosion, everything would have been destroyed. The sword light was attacking at just the right moment, hoping to seize victory right at the last. It was star sword life, and a brutal smile could be seen on his face. Somehow, he had survived until the very end. The truth was that not even he was sure how it happened. Sadly for him, Yang Qi forehead transformed into a vortex that quickly devoured the sword energy. Then, he reached out and grabbed the shock star sword life. How did you know? Yang Chi. Because I'm omniscient. You've been pestering me ever since the immortal worlds. I knew all along that you wouldn't just disappear. Yang Chi exhaled and burning fire wrapped around star sword life, turning him into streams of life force that faded away in all directions. At that point, Yang Chi floated down into his empire. There, the king of god mammoths, demon master and high priestess all knelt to him. Is it all over, Yang Chi? Greenzura asked. 
she was flanked by Yang Zhan, Yang Susu, and all his other friends and family. He exhaled, and King Immortal Slayer flew out as well. It's over, everyone, he said, his voice both soft and resolute. I have no enemies left. My empire is invincible, and we've created something one of a kind, an ideal nation. There is no such thing as hell. The impure lands are no more. The immortal worlds are gone. The past doesn't exist, nor does the future. Everyone knew that they had just barely survived a major disaster, and it was a very unique feeling. Now, we transcend, he said. In this new world, I'll bring back all the living beings that died. It will be a new place. Everyone, pray for me. Pray for yourselves. Pray for the Empire. Pray for the Void. Pray for her fate. Everyone sat down cross-legged and began to pray. Using the Great Necropolis, Yang Chi absorbed what remained of the primal chaos Palea energy. As he took it into himself, the world became deathly silent. There was no light, no time, no space, no primal chaos, no living beings, no world. Everything became nothing. However, the Great Necropolis was fully open. Come, everyone. Come into the Great Necropolis. As Yang Chi led his father and mother, and all of his brethren, into the necropolis, he said, the Great Necropolis buries the world, but it still represents life. It's not an end, but a beginning. Everyone went inside, leaving not a single living thing in the outside world. Then, boundless light erupted from the Great Necropolis, and cracking sounds rang out from Yang Chi. Transcend. The Great Necropolis vanished, and everyone vanished with it. Yang Chi vanished. His empire, his glory, his ideals, his faith, his valor, they all vanished. It was impossible to say where they went. It was almost as if they had never existed. However, when the great necropolis vanished, a pure expression of vital energy suddenly rippled out into the void. Then a multitude of worlds came into being, filling space. Life had appeared again. Slowly but surely, the impure lands came to be again. Then immortal worlds came into existence. Even the god world came to be. After untold billions of years passed, after untold generations, the legion of gods yet again came to exist. However, there was a legend among this new legion of gods that said that a higher form of civilization existed. And countless experts in the legion of gods wanted to go there. It was just how countless cultivators from the impure lands wanted to ascend to the immortal worlds. It was an eternal legend. A door had been opened. No one knew what type of civilization existed above the god civilization. But it was there. As the years passed, myths and histories came and went. But that legend remained in the hearts of people for all eternity. The End